start streaming and I'm gonna start sharing it with everyone and as I'm doing that you tell that story, my dude. The story? It's not much of a story. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> tell me when you're live. Uh it's it's live now. Okay. Attention all Team Fortress 2 gamers. The Heavy is in need of your help to capture the enemy intelligence. So, he's going to need a pocket medic and a couple of sandwiches. In order to help him, he's going to need your credit card number, the expiration month and year, the three numbers on the back of the card, and he's going to need you to give him all of your hats. But you gotta be quick. You gotta, you gotta do it, guys. You gotta do it. That's what he's saying. Oh my god, people are storming in here. They're pouring Praise in. the sun, Ate. Uh, everyone in chat, type in exclamation mark dorks. We've brought back the dorks, ladies and gentlemen. Give all your dorks to the heavy weapons guy to help him capture the opposing team's intelligence. Uh, I think I sent out the uh, thing to all the servers that matter. Uh, tell him. <laughs> yeah, you tell him, Russer. Tell him. You tell him. I don't know if Russer's actually here. That'd be sweet, though. Hello, Russer, if you are here. I don't actually Russer's know. at school, probably. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Poor Russer. God, God damn. Total eclipse of the heart on a... Hey, it's actually Sunday, so no, she's not at school. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Anyways. Welcome, everybody, to the DWF stream. Uh, why don't we take a little, since it's been a while, let's take a little blast to the p Oh, shit. Okay, let's take a little blast to the past with what happened last time. Welcome to the stream. Praise the sun. Uh, so last time we had Double Danny versus Popeye and Jason, which is Team Angel Wings on the right, and they defeated Double Danny in an unfortunate bout. Apple Family defeated Team Overwatch. Uh... I guess this is a spoiler if any of you haven't seen that, but probably have. Uh, uh, waifu, who won that one? That was, uh... I thought uh, it was, uh, the Apple fan. Oh, wait. <laughs> uh... Hmm. Anyways, make sure to tell us how our audio is doing <laughs> as well, everybody in chat. We got a couple of people that we don't see in there, so it's hard to remember. Have you, uh, reviewed the slideshow? I, hey, now. <laughs> I mean... You know, just to make sure that you remember what's going on. Get your game on. Go play. Uh, right. I remember everything. It was the Wii F goddamn Wii Fit Trainer winning that match. Uh, kind of that. screwing over Limestone Pie in the process, and she was very pissed off at Doge, the referee, for that one. Uh, Royal Rumble, we had one. Natsuki won. Throwing Monica out after, like, five tries. Uh, and then, <laughs> in the greatest ending ever... Goddamn, Alex Jones just gave up and left. He just <laughs> ran away and just gave up the title match. Bulk by kept that's that one. About the first time we've ever seen something like that. Followed by an outrageous ending, uh, where Scootaloo seemed to be on the path to winning, and then out of nowhere, Sweetie Belle came in, turned super hard on her, getting Marble Pie. That sweet, sweet small title victory and then a barn burner of a match we had between the gentleman patrol and the communist connection which the communist connection won triumphing winning the best ship glory for mother <coughs> for mother russia <sighs> so let me turn down the goddamn music fucking man's not hot remix that's that's relevant still that's appropriate uh oh something's happening in the ring what could oh, it be now? No. Hold on, I gotta change. I gotta change windows. It's a bit of a bit of a ah, sh shite. Doodle, did you unmod me from your chat? No, no, you're in a different. You're using a different. You're using a different thing. No, I'm back on sound speed. I'm not modded, bro. Okay, fucking. There you How go. How dare you? I need my little wrench. <laughs> I know. Or I'm gonna feel like I have a tiny <laughs> wee. I know. I know you do. <laughs> I mean, what? <laughs> Did you hear that? Yes, I heard that. <laughs> I strategically ignored it. Oh you. shit, oh shit, we're gonna get a wave of scooter tricks people coming in. Uh, a wave of them? A, a wave of scooter tricks people, which is perfect timing, by the by. Uh, but something's happening in the ring. What is happening in the ring? Let's find out. 
That's uh, a wonderful question. Oh, shit. Whoa. Oh, my computer is dead. Hold on. It wouldn't be a DWF stream without it dying. Oh, no. Where... <laughs> where's my fucking... This early? No. No, where's my... No, I had it all set up. Where'd it go? It disappeared. <laughs> it disappeared. No. But what's happening in the ring? I, d I <laughs> will never know. God, what is happening? We'll never know what was happening in the ring. We're missing it. <laughs> okay, no, I'm actually trying to figure this shit out. Hold on. Wait, I got this. I got this. Okay, I got this like Diddy Kong. I don't know about you, Frog, but I get Echo. the feeling that something is happening in the ring. Oh. I get that feeling, okay. too. Reminder, chat, the heavy needs your credit card information. <laughs> to capture the enemy intelligence. Okay, sweet. All right, found what I was looking for. He uh, also needs all of your hats. Okay, hold Remember that quick, So, though. I've never done this before. Let's see if this works. Ladies and gentlemen in the chat, give give your kappas. Although, it's actually... Oh, shoot, I, I switched it too early. Your dorks. Hold on. Give your dorks in chat. Uh-oh, who's coming down to the ring? It's Fluttershy. What is she doing here? That's a wonderful question. Dude, Did something's got... happening in the ring. <laughs> She's got her weird scarf thing. She's got... Is that like a skirt or like... Are those like compression shorts? Oh Wait, my, look at the here? ring! Oh, Dude, no! Dude, E-Dubs is not playing Soul Calibur 6. Look, look at the ring! Oh, no! Oh wait, you, you, you guys see that? Oh, what? Yeah, yeah, we can see that. Okay. Oh my God, Harry the bear! He's got his Harry, mom. the bear. A really oh just my God. uncontested champion. Praise the sun. The Accurately calling her Paul Shy, Paul Heyman Shy. Very accurate. Thank you for that. Speaking of Paul Heyman Shy, who's who's doing? Whoa! Shy? Is this conversation in the ring? Yeah, boy, let's we go. Dude, something is before. happening in the ring. <laughs> uh, who's Fluttershy? Who does Fluttershy's voice? I think it's Frog. I could probably pull it off. I don't know. Give it a go. Give it a whirl. I, I don't really have much of a Paul Heyman impression. Just, just go <laughs> but... for it, my dude. That's right. Do you see this logo? <laughs> Do you all realize what DWF stands for now? It stands for Dare <laughs> Living Bear. <laughs> Harry the Bear is DWF. I had this ring mat commissioned because, well, let's be honest, who's gonna say no? <laughs> this is, and forever will be, the Harry the Bear Show. Oh, man, oh, man. Oh, my, oh, my. Strong words. Something Very happened in the ring. Strong... <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't, 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 don't look at that spoon. It was a draw. No spoon, don't look at that. Don't look at that. Don't look at that. <laughs> don't look at that. I look guess at so. <laughs> don't look. Don't look at it, Frog. Okay. You know, they can't <laughs> see it, so therefore you can't see it either. <laughs> Doodle, you need to fucking go in offline mind. on Steam so we don't get the fucking Steam like friends playing game notifications. But I want to see all your friends that are playing Soul Calibur Six. Wait, Dude. what? <laughs> oh shoot, I forgot to set it to offline. Uh, oh, oh well... <laughs> hello. As Doge will be participating in a match tonight, I shall take over. All refereeing duties this night. It shall be a glorious night. Well, that was a interesting little thing. So let's run down our card for the night and introduce ourselves to everybody in chat. I am Doodled. Over here is Frog, aka right. Froge. Over here is Spood. What is up, everybody? Sound speed. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Uh, let me just adjust the Those audio. Make sure the audio is all the sun. working together. Uh, he, he's just kind of shy when it comes to wrestling. Right. So let's uh, take a gander at our card real quick. First, Limestone Pie wants to boil our referee alive. Oh boy, that's our curtain jerker. That's our curtain jerker for the night. And then we get a little bit of chat participation as some 
uh, lucky bit haver in chat will be able to choose who will face off against Team Angel Wings for the number for the best for to to be the number one contender for the best shift title. And then more chat participation for the small title, and then more chat. <laughs> There's a lot of chat participation here, but we also introduced nice. the debut of Review Bra and Shrek. That's a team. Yeah, I feel like valid. Shrek has been a long time coming, to be honest. I mean, yeah. if you since this is going to be for the best husbando championship, eventually, you know, Shrek would probably be a good choice. I mean, have you seen the way he treats Fiona? I don't know. It's pretty nice. Followed. <laughs> Wonderful dude. The wet best. He's got like four beautiful children. <laughs> Absolutely. Followed by the best waifu title match, where Raven will defend her best waifu title against the We Fit Trainer. We Fit Trainer hoping to take Raven apart limb by limb, although Raven has been on an absolute crushing streak as of late. At the, at the same time, I think we do need to address that the We Fit Trainer has also been one of the few people that's actually managed to put up a very strong fight against Harry the Bear. Good point. Harry the Bear, the final boss of DWF. What yeah. are like the Vegas odds of Harry the Bear actually losing today, do you think? I don't know. I don't know the answer to that question. Followed by the finale to this trilogy of matches between Team Ruby and the Apple family for the best crew title, the four-on-four -four title. Uh, Ruby is the current holders. They're defending against the Apple family. And Princess Celestia, the GM, has promised that this will be the final match between the two teams. We will find out later tonight what the hell she means by that. Followed by our main event, where... <laughs> okay. <laughs> where... <laughs> mm. You're we're... really proud of yourself for putting this up. I can all <laughs> feel it. Where bu Buff Natsuki will challenge for Harry the Bears' undefeated <laughs> best horse title. Is she going to bring that sledgehammer with her to the ring? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. The Hey, Sweetie Belle, I know you're listening. <laughs> Who is Sweetie Belle? I don't know. I could probably just do that too if you want. God, I feel like I've just come out of a coma. I don't remember anything about <laughs> you. I, I know, I know. Why did I do it? Why did I betray you? Isn't it obvious? I knew you were dumb, but this is dumb. Yeah, you fell for Limestone's trap, making it a no DQ. She called you a chicken, you just had to respond. And right before that, you thought you were so smart when you beat me, when we were having fun. What? We were just messing around in that match we had, but you just had to take it so seriously. You made me look like an idiot, then you made yourself look like an idiot. The match only went bad because you interfered. You were jealous, weren't you? No! I realized I should take advice from smarter ponies. Like Rarity. Not chickens like you. I'm not chicken. I'm not afraid to face you. Me and Rarity, are you sure? Apple Bloom is busy, you know. I know. I also know someone who's been looking for a partner. I'll, what the f- What happened to this voice? I'll bring her <laughs> with me. Then I'll show you- <laughs> So it appears uh, we may be having a change of plans. All of our matches that we've announced will go on as as announced, but it appears that we have a new curtain jerker, ladies and gentlemen. And a it will new be curtain jerker? The mm. two team debuts of Team Marshmallows versus Team Scooter Tricks. Hey! Oh, wow. Dude, okay. I see what you did there, Scooter Tricks, because like, it's a, yeah. I, I promised Scooter Tricks Studios that they'd have the, oh yeah, Team Girl Squad voice pretty much, yeah. Uh, Yo, should so, uh, Sweetie Bell be getting her advice from Rarity? I think she's won maybe like one match. In she's, 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 she's got <laughs> style. That's what matters. Yeah, I feel like Sweetie Bell's talking up a big game, but something's I... happening. <laughs> Something is happening in the ring. Are no. you for real? I don't. That's crazy, I, I guys. Don't... Something's happening in the ring. I, I actually don't know. It's glitching out on me really hard. <laughs> oh wait, no. This was a lie. There's actually nothing <laughs> happening in the ring. I lied to you all. <laughs> it's just this match. <laughs> it's a guy like sweeping up all of Harry the Bear's hair. <laughs> 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 <I'm>... <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you feel something happening in the ring. <laughs> God, I am a mess today. Um. Okay, hold on. All right. So it's a bit of a bit of a. Oh, oh, right, 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 right. Uh, betting, betting. You guys can bet on a. Hold on. Let, let's br let's bring the bets in, buddy boys. Let's bring the bets in. Who will win? Bring the beat in. Who will win, chat? Let me. I gotta. I gotta fucking type it out. Hold on. Um. Bet entered. No, only one option. You only get one bet. And. All right. Let's see if this works, chat. Let's see if it appears in chat. Yes, it does. Make your bets, chat. Follow the instructions betting... that Doodlebot in the chat shows. You can bet whatever number of uh, dorks that you have. You can check your number of dorks by typing in exclamation mark dorks. You see how many you currently have. You'll probably only have like five or whatever. And in the meanwhile, while that's all going on, while you debate amongst yourselves, what do you guys think of this matchup, by the by? Where he really does suck. I mean, at least uh, at least Trixie has done things before, you know? Like, right, oh, I get the impression racist. this is a little bit one-sided. I literally put every dork I had on, on uh, Scooter Tricks, so don't let me down, baby. All right, speaking of don't let me down, please don't crash on me, program. Oh, God, no. Don't freeze. No. Sweet! Let's go. Nice! Boys. Oh, my God, it worked. The curtain jerker for the night. Coming out to the ring, Team Marshmallows. Looks like uh, Sweetie right. Belle's got a slightly new mask on tonight. She does. Trying to mimic her sister in her cool style with her weird checkered, like tiny <laughs> checkered skirt. <laughs> I like it though. And it's now her. the Harry Wrestling Federation because Harry the Bear has <laughs> taken over. I suppose and coming so. out to we the Scooter Tricks music, it is tonight. Team Scooter Tricks. I love the power stance. Right, they're both doing that same like little like <laughs> synchronized <laughs> dancing. It was choreographed. Yeah. Oh wait, right, the other commentators can't hear the cool Scooter Tricks music. Oh, this horse we'll has get a there funny one day. face. And now the match will begin. Looks like the audience is well in favor of Scooter Tricks here. <laughs> Slap to the face uh, Scooter Lou goes down. Make sure you drop the uh, overlay for the bet uh, if you haven't done that already, because it's kind of in the way. <laughs> I know. All right. Uh, remember, chat, make sure to let us know if the music is too loud or if the sound effects are too loud. The overlay goes away on its own, yeah. So. Oh, does it? Okay. Again, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm post-comatose, so I need to... Uh... Be reminded of how this all works. Yeah, it seemed like Sweetie Belle really wanted nothing to do with, uh. Uh, with fucking. Oh, god damn it, no. Scootaloo, that's the name. Oh, that's god, the, the Steam notifications, name. how do I turn those off? <laughs> I don't know how. Go offline! I did! They're still show. <laughs> well, I went invi usually going invisible turns those off, but now it doesn't <laughs> anymore. Oh, no. Ooh, working the arm. Uh oh. European uppercut from Rarity, taking down Trixie. Trixie and Rarity facing off. We got the two big girls in here. You know, as far as the girls in DWF are concerned, these are some small girls, to be to oh, be okay. honest. Yeah. Uh oh, tossing her out of the ring, oh, punching man. her in the head. I'm just punching Dunk. her? That's fucking mean. Absolutely Outside cool. the ring, referee count. Go. Are we gonna see a damn count out? That would be no. hilarious. Oh, I really hope they do. Twenty count. It's a 20 no. count. It's not a 10 count. It's a 20 count. But a right. Man, holy hell! <laughs> yeah, they're scrapping out there hilarious. for a little bit. Okay, we got another strike off situation. So, here. Uh, chat, I can now. Uh, I am deaf in one ear, so please tell me if the audio is okay. <laughs> oh, what do we uh -oh. got here? We got a triangle choke. Triangle Dead choke the middle of the ring. Rarity going in to tag in Sweetie Belle. Sweetie Belle's a little little swifter, a little faster. Got the coconut right, gun but... that fires and spurts. She is quick and nimble when she needs to be. Luna is very quick and nimble. She's got that referee speed on her side. Doge is backstage prepar preparing for his match. Uh, in case any of you guys don't know, we called him Doge because he vaguely resembles a mixture of me and Froge. <laughs> and uh, so, and he has half an amateur wrestling background as a result. 
Uh oh, off the ropes. Sweetie Belle refusing to bounce back. Sweetie oh, Belle! Oh god! A big tossed. boot sending her over the ropes. And right now. Over the ropes. Yeah, Disgusting. now we got a scrap here. Now Maybe. we got a Steam no. notification. <laughs> Don't know right. how to turn <laughs> this off. How many of your friends are playing Soul Calibur 6 right now? Way too many! <laughs> it's excessive. <laughs> Ooh, get a counter on that kick oh. into a knee bar. Sweetie Belle tagging yeah, the Once again, the Sweetie Belle very oh, quickly going back to face. her own side of the ring. Perhaps this is more of a team effort in this case, and maybe I'm misinterpreting things. But they I mean, do Sweetie Belle, to... it seems very heel-like to me in this situation, right? She, well, she's kind of so. she talking a big game. She's backing up into her corner. You know, she's she's making very liberal use of her teammate to kind of... She did abandon the Cutie Mark Crusaders. So for any of you guys who missed last week, Sweetie Belle turned super hard on the Cutie Mark Crusaders. She's like, you all suck. Especially you, Scootaloo. And thus this That's match right. happened. So she's relying on her sister quite a bit in this match, who, once again, I believe won only one match in DWF so far. <laughs> so, bold move. We'll see how that pans out. Uh-oh. Off the ropes. Sw Scootaloo! Bro! Jesus! Oh, just planting her. Rarity boots to the child's face. Rarity loves booting those little children. I suppose so. Write that down, folks. Uh oh, up to the top we rope. Could be getting a tornado DDT. DDT. Uh oh, Rarity trying to tag. Elbow to the back, going into tag and Looks Sweetie like she's going to get it. The marshmallows have some crazy synergy together, but Trixie and Scootaloo are both used to being in tag teams. Trixie is a former best ship title champion alongside Starlight Glimmer in the trio Reformio. And Starlight Glimmer mm -hmm. is currently the best ship champion alongside Zarya as a part of the Communist Connection, so maybe Trixie might be able to work together with Scootaloo to get all the way... Yeah, who cares about Logan Paul and KSI when you've got Sweetie Belle versus Trixie? Uh, <laughs> yeah, Sweetie Belle's actually kind of brave. Uh -oh. <gasps> oh no! Here comes the encore to the ankle! No, Will she's she going to use it? the reverberations of the mat! Oh my gosh, she's going to chop the mat so hard that it brutalizes Sweetie Belle! Dude, every time that someone does that move, I gain five years of life. <laughs> Kick to the head. Yeah, big uh -oh. and scary. Trixie, rolling up from be behind. Sizing her up right now. Sliding into her DMs. To all the people who aren't used to this, uh, hello Arctic Renegade. Uh, the mat is not usually just two Harrys and a Fluttershy. It's usually all the champions. But Fluttershy took over DWF tonight. So the, it's her rules now. It's her rules, her domain. As long as Harry is the champion, Fluttershy runs roughshod on this division. It's Harry the Bear's world. We're just living in it. <laughs> <laughs> Rarity coming out on top with the strike off. I think that's the first time her team has won a strike off, but... Ooh, this is not really a corner that Trixie wants to be in. Trixie tagging in Scootaloo, zippity zoop. Here comes the scoop a boop. What just happened? <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh! But Rarity came out on top. <laughs> Rarity is That's a all master matters. of the bitch slap, and whoever E dubs is will not stop playing Soul Calibur 6. <laughs> I don't even know who that I gotta is. I create my giant lizard penises. <laughs> in case any of you aren't aware, that is apparently a thing you can make in Soul Calibur. Anyways, uh, Ooh, Trixie. Sliding. Oh, oh Scootaloo. Scootaloo. Putting some funk on it. Right, showing some extreme agility. Being a little bit of a show-off, kind of mm -hmm. reminiscent Osmede of her Osmede Conrado, thank you for being such a long-time supporter of Doodle Pony 2, I guess. Or DWF, I don't really know which one you were referring to. Scootaloo! Zippity Zoop! That's right. I'm just going to call every evasive maneuver a Zippity Zoop from now on. Or not, because that's a terrible idea. We got a switchblade from Scootaloo bringing down Rarity, though maybe she would want to reconsider bringing her into her own corner. Dude, hi, I'm Anthony Sullivan. You're going to see Shrek Ooh. fight later tonight. Ooh. So That's a tall Boston Crab. Very tall, modified Boston Crab from Rarity. A signature move of hers, if I do say so myself. Brutal kick to the back. Oh, my uh -oh. God. Oh. Oh, oh out Almost of the ring. I agree. Oh, Scootaloo. Cartwheeling out of Sweetie Belle's way, but Sweetie Belle's gonna 
bring the fight to her and Zaguri Ooh. to the face. Punisher. Okay, it seems like we're getting another tag here. Yeah, they tag a he lot. Yeah, maybe that's a sign of good teamwork. Maybe it's a sign that neither one of them want to be in the ring. Thank you, all you newcomers, for checking out Season 3 of DWF. That's it wasn't right. supposed to be Season 3, but there was such a long gap between the two that it's like, I guess it is Season 3 now. Uh-oh. Uh, Trixie oh, Lowman almost colliding dead into her. I think Sweetie Belle kind of has tunnel vision with her rivalry with Scootaloo. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got a spell. Casting a spell on Sweetie Bell. Not really sure how to answer that question, Samwise, because to be honest, I'm not really sure myself. If you want to get really serious. Also, can we add an can we have a counter for every time E Dubs is playing Soul Calibur 6? Let's go, E Dubs. Can we put him in <laughs> Fire Pro Wrestling and then get him in the league? Yes. Uh oh, Sweetie Bell's gonna try something big here. Maybe. Trixie's styling on Sweetie Belle, but no, Sweetie Belle's coming back. just a Russian leg sweep. Just a Russian leg sweep because she's a heel. She doesn't care anymore. The fans kind of divided between cheering and booing for her. They're not quite used to this new side of Sweetie Belle. The brutal chops oh, on the side of the man. face. She learned a lot of her wrestling moves from Rarity. Possibly oh, better at doing wow. them. wow, okay. A diamond cutter who kind of learned that from her own sister apparently yeah, rarity is a master of the cutters sweetie bell bringing one of them out right there oh missing the chop yeah oh. sweetie bell really turned that rope situation around sweetie bell seems to be a master of the inside game just as e dubs is a master of soul caliber six <laughs> <laughs> as you say that dude he's on the road sweetie. to global elite <laughs> oh the kicks oh god the kick exchange this match could end at any moment elbow kicks uh oh it's kick Kick, it's all in the mind. <laughs> kick, kick, it's all in the mind. Oh, oh my oh, god. Kick to end it off. You can feel the frustration <laughs> and the rivalry. You can just, yeah, it's all coming out. For uh -oh. sure, this is a very cathartic experience for the both of them, but once more, Sweet Bell runs away. Oh man, this people are going right back into it, too. Oh man, this is sick. This is not looking good for my oh. life, baby. Oh, the body. Big cross body oh. on the other end of the ring. Oh, my God. That's Team Marshmallow. Oh, win. my God. I'm broke. Wow. The people voting for Team Marshmallow definitely got a huge payout today. Wait, the what excellent is Rarity team... just being a dick? Just yeah, I guess. Oh my God. <laughs> well, the excellent oh. teamwork on both. Rarity and Sweetie Belle's part really did pay off in the end. Yeah, I'll be honest, I really wanted S Scooter Tricks to win that one. Uh, this isn't the last you're gonna see of Team Scooter Tricks. I'll 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 tell you that much. But uh, as the kids say, oof, what mm. a match! Sweetie Belle and Rarity really demonstrating that they're not total slouches. Like Scootaloo was dominating the small title division. Now Sweetie Belle and Rarity, and, R and Trixie was dominating the best waifu division, and Sweetie Belle and Rarity, they've got that chemistry, you know? they got that sisterly bond. Got that synergy. They've got that sisogy. Well, the, it no, definitely that showed in the one. ring, for sure. It worked out in their favor quite a lot more than I think a lot of us expected. Except, of course, the people that voted for them. Yeah. No, praise the sun, don't quit. <laughs> <laughs> you know why you can't quit? Because something is happening! You're fucking with me. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Indeed, believe it or not, I'm walking around and never thought I could trick or treat. That, that that's a reference from Star Runner. Okay. Um <laughs> I've got a hot take for you while you're getting this set up. Yes, ma'am. Wow. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. wow. Yeah. Wow. Heard that. Heard that doodle. Heard that smarmy remark you hold, made. Hold the but wait, Smooth. You you can't you can't Something's happening in the ring. Smooth. Something's happening in the ring? Yeah, something's happening in the Oh shoot. <laughs> something's happening. Something is happening wait, in the ring. Who's coming down to the ring? It's it's limestone pie. Good coming grief. down she's to a, a lot bigger than I thought she'd be. <laughs> coming down she's to got a muscle definition for days. Dude, she's a pie dude. Have you seen what they do to rocks over on the Pie Family Rock Farm? That makes sense then. 
Coming out barefoot too. There's she's gonna twist oh, her ankle. Doge is coming out. Is this a match or what? What is going on here? Uh, yes, I do have a Twitter. It's a uh, Doodle Pony, and that's that's it. That's the thing. He is the official DWF referee, but tonight he is in his wrestling singlet. A competitor. I, I will say, I you know, my only memory of Doge in the ring was him getting absolutely humiliated by Twilight Sparkle. So I don't really have hey, high Spood, hopes for this. You should listen to Limestone Pie. <laughs> Uh, who's who's gonna be? Shut it up! First of all, to all you saying Marble didn't deserve a win of the title. The small Fuck title. you! It was no DQ. How the hell was she supposed to know there'd be a revolt in the CMC? But I'm not just here on the defense. I'm here for some righteous vengeance. Referee Doge here screwed me out of the best waifu title th to his shitty TKO calls. Oh, thanks. Yeah, the words are going off the... <laughs> she, that's how off the rails this segment is. This is pretty avant-garde wrestling. Seems to be a pattern Absolutely. with this. Oh, I forgot how many swears I put in this. Anyways, uh, Frog, you do this one. <laughs> Fingers in his ass. Fingers in his ass. That's enough. <laughs> Time to die. And if you try any of that sexual shit you did with Twilight, I'm going to beat your ass unconscious. Well, then... Something oh, big words. Yeah, it looks man. like limestone, limestone pie. Limestone pie wants to boil our referee alive. Yeah, That's honestly, right. Doge is kind of a scumbag. <laughs> Whoa, hold on. Yeah, I know. Like just disregarding her feelings like that by talking about Kanye West and how he likes fingers in his ass. <laughs> I <laughs> know, right? Classless move. If any of you haven't seen the Kanye <laughs> or heard the song, all right, whatever. Hey guys, guess what match is next? I bet you can't I bet you can't guess what match is next, and we're starting right away. I said And we're starting right away. Doge, limestone pie, here we go. Match begins now. Alright. Oh my god, Luna's got you on the move. That's right. She's moving more than the actual competitors <laughs> right now. Limestone's gonna try to break Doge's legs. Doge has half an amateur wrestling background. Good grief, Luna is fast. Luna is a speedy demon. For real. Oh. If Doge has oh. half of oh. an amateur oh. wrestling background, Did does that mean he's one-fourth wrestler? Yeah. <laughs> I suppose so. He may have the point there. He's like one-fourth wrestler and like three-fourths pervert. <laughs> Double oh, the that's right. <laughs> now, I have to put... Sorry that I have to put... Oh! Our Scoo slam out of the ring! Ooh. I have to put our referee, Luna, on blast here. I don't think she can remain impartial in this match, considering she's been kind of oh, uh, mentoring start to referee the groin. Come on, he didn't do anything sexual yet. You can't do that to him. <laughs> E-Dubs is playing Soul Calibur 6. <laughs> <laughs> Why can he just keep playing it? Why does he keep fucking rebooting it? I don't even want to turn off the notification now. It's too much fun. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Uh, uh, right, right, right. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. That, he put some funk on it. Arm bar. That was a combo. Never mind. Maybe he's three quarters wrestler and one quarter pervert. Uh, hey, yeah. hey, chat. Hey, chat. Time to bet. Time to bet. I forgot to start the bet. Take a bet. Who's going to win? Doge or Limestone? <laughs> I'd bet, but I'm literally out of money. Oh, you Referee gain more Doge money over. You gain more, the arm. You gain more dorks over time just by watching the stream, so you might have five now, Spood. Uh, Let's see. Ooh, bear hug oh, body. Oh, bear drop. hug body slam. Oh fuck yeah! Let's go. Another one. Oh, referee to the face. Doge is kind of bringing it right now. Out wrestling the yeah. roughhouser limestone Mar pie. Marvel pie is standing by at ringside. She is clearly <laughs> cheering on limestone in this matchup. E Dubs referee is playing Doge. Soul Calibur Six. There's so much referee happening Doge. on screen. Referee Doge has been using his break wisely. That was a little bit sexual. Maybe now she can kick him in the dick. That's called the uh, <laughs> that's called the um, alpha male figure four. The alpha male figure four, where or just he runs his nuts on your four. kneecap. <laughs> oh, oh, she just blocked it. She's like, nope. Nobody blocks a big boot. What the fuck? <laughs> oh god. Oh, Here we go. oh, there we We're go. Getting into it. That's some intimacy. Is Doge gonna yeah. get a win? Maybe he's been dominating this first half oh, of the match. Oh, he's raking oh, the guys. Oh, oh, is that combo. oh, oh no! Nose. As I say that, 
Limestone's Limestone looking very tired, really though. really brings in a heavy offense. Limestone Man. is very, very exhausted at this point, though. Just the level of heart in this match, like the caliber of soul displayed oh. in this <laughs> arena. As some might say. <laughs> so high. Uh-oh, off the ropes. Boot! There Ooh. we go. That's a big no boot. Block She's this time. teaching him how to do the big boot properly. She refused to sell it because it was so bad the first time. I suppose so. Oh, oh German! Dead Damn. German. You oh, I think it ended that fast. Too. Goodness me. Snapmare! Oh, kick, kick, little, oh, little boot. He's little getting tired now. The... They're both tired this match. Oh, rope break. Oh, clamping down. She's not a mat wrestler expertise, but she sure knows but how to get well out of she's doing well enough. It. She's keeping up, and that's yes, for sure. Yes, praise the sun, that was a kidney punch, and that also is a Soul Calibur 6. <laughs> Someone needs to make a mega cut of all the times that E-Tubs... Oh, super kick! Oh, oh, super kick! Oh, what, what? the... Whoa. What just... Oh, what is... God, we're seeing Whoa. some what weird just teleportation happened? magic going on. <laughs> what Somebody's... just happened? Something... <laughs> some might say something is happening in the ring. <laughs> God, this is a this is a nightmare, much like the character nightmare from Soul Calibur VI. <laughs> Referee Doge is taking a bit to catch his breath. Yeah, yeah he's already. I think we all now. are. Right now. <laughs> he only has half an amateur wrestling background. He only has half the stamina. Half True. amateur wrestler, twenty-five percent pervert, twenty-five percent gamer. Uh oh, <laughs> Doge. <laughs> Gamers I mean, rise up. Of a he's gamer gonna, in there. He's gonna rise up and attain a victory. Absolutely. Oh, he rose up from his Ooh, knee God, in the back of the head. Top of the head. That's oh my God! There, this is like a fuck out of her. brutal fight. <laughs> oh. This has gotten a lot more personal. I feel Earth like pony magic. Am I right? Uh oh! Full Nelson oh, bomb. No. Oh, Ooh. this match is over. That's no, he gets right back up. Bone. He no sold it. Oh. She the powerful keeps... ass cheeks of referee Doge. Whoa, he's he's got some like acrobatics. Yeah, you know, he's, he's a mat Absolutely. wrestler. You know, he's got he's got that he's got that background. You know, so is yeah. the a body has been discovered. <laughs> well, no. Not yet. Not. Yet. Oh no, Hi, Anthony Sullivan is saying that it's our something is happening in the ring is very similar to that, which it kind of is. It National is. alert! Absolutely. Soul oh, Calibur God. Anyways. Armbar. Oh, is she gonna tap to this? Oh, her got, she got her foot on the ropes, wriggling her way over to them. Barely. Doge. Spear! Oh, just a giant spear. Oh, uh oh, he's gonna go for the kill. He's gonna go for the unfortunate erection. That's his finishing move. Maybe? <laughs> oh, no. No, he's gonna go out of the uh -oh. ring. Uh oh. Mar. Uh, limestone marbles out here, too. Is she gonna get in on this? Uh oh. Marble oh pie they're mat wrestling referee on the outside oh, of the man. ring. So remember, that could be a costly mistake. Yeah. Is this gonna be... So ring out is the twenty, this? not the ten. Oh, uh, ring uh -oh. out's the twenty, and yeah. I thought it was the twenty. Uh -oh. Justin. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, you go oh. back out. Oh. <laughs> oh, they just waiting there. for her. All the little mind games going on here. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 give her a oh, oh my God, out. the gunbuster! Jesus Christ! Uh oh, uh oh, Doge, hammerlock, hammerlock, hammerlock. Is he gonna? Will she tap oh. out? No. Oh. Oh, elbow to the face! Yeah, Man, a couple of them. Uh, E-dubs, the killer is you. There's a lot of Danganronpa fans in here. <laughs> Ooh, elbow to the back. Just uh oh, Making sizing that... her up. Oh, he made the referee X in the air, like she's Ooh. gonna be injured after this one. That's I, that's actually, I'm actually really is that proud what it of is. That. Yeah, that's actually it's what that is. That's cool. I'm, I'm really that's proud of that. That's very meta. That's very meta of a referee oh, to do that. Shoot, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Echo. Going All up right. to the top rope, limestone pie. Limestone Maybe going doing up something. To the rope. Shot to the, back of, to the, the back of the head. Uh oh. Dude just kind of getting manhandled right now. Rope Absolutely. Break. Put on the corner. Uh oh. Referee Doge had this at first, but now oh. I'm not sure. That's yeah, he seems thing. to have a problem with keeping his stamina up. For sure, once he gets the momentum on his side, keeping it's kind of been his big problem. Uh -oh. Meanwhile, yeah. Lesson, oh! Pie doesn't seem oh to have that Oh my god, that was problem. a Canadian cutter! Wait, is that what it's called? I don't- Did he just- Did he just pin- The Canadian destroyer? Is that it? Oh, oh, oh my Doge god! Picking up his first win in DWF. 
And now I'm broke I, again. I never thought I'd see the day. Are you serious? Did that just happen? Did That's Doge just... Uh... Doge isn't supposed to win? What? <laughs> that just happened? You're Once right, praise the sun. Once more, I have to remind the chat because we have three of we have to do three of these legally for today. Once more, the heavy weapons guy needs your credit card information oh to help stop the intelligence. Stop while you can. You also need to give the expiration month and year and the three digit code on the back of the card. Yeah, praise the sun's right, Doge won, but his balls did not. He's gonna need the he's gonna need some ice. Yeah, that poor guy. He's so hmm. chat. Is Angel Wings in the chat by any chance? Angel Wings is a long time uh, follower of this series and their team. And in fact, a lot of chat made tag teams have gotten really far. And Angel Wings is ta uh, hand picked tag team of Jason and Popeye has gotten very far in the tag team division. But now it is up to one lucky member of chat to decide. So this is where the dorks come into play. Oh, fuck. You're going. This is going to be an auction. So, uh, who pick tag, question mark, and we start the auction, it's gonna go for two minutes, it says, you guys are gonna have plenty of time, and in the meanwhile, I'm gonna go over the tag teams that the winner of this auction will get to choose from. Actually, wait, shoot, is the auction even on screen right now? Oh, well, whatever, it'll mm. show it to me. It's in chat, yeah, I mean, it, you know. Hold on, let me fix this. Uh, okay, there we go. Got it. Fix I mean, it. all these people sitting here, and they have hundreds of dorks. That's so, right. Let's go over the tag teams that you'll good. be able to pick from. We've got... Got the, any bits? We've got the, the big money. We've got the generational gap of Pinky and Surprise, because they're, they're the same character. We've got the Island Squad in the bottom left. We've got Fingers in His Ass, Fingers in His Ass. Kanye West, he likes Fingers in His Ass. That's the full team name. You have to say the full thing every time you pronounce their name <laughs> in the upper center. Bottom bottom center is Team Equality. Bottom right, Lyra and Bonbon, bon, you know them. Top right, Sands of Papyrus. But we have more! We got Golden Oaks, Twilight and Spike. We've got the Spa Ponies. We've got the Literature Club. We've got Team Indie Dads on the bottom left with Octodad and Brad Armstrong. We've got the Shit Memes with Uganda Knuckles and Tide Pod. Don't we've, vote for them. We've, please don't. Please don't. Please don't. <laughs> Actually, I, an option. actually don't. I don't. They should not have been an option. Uh, Wonderbolts. <laughs> we've actually got the Gentleman Patrol, if you want them to potentially go back for the tag titles again. Uh, we've got Cadence and Shining Armor, and we've got Vinyl and Octavia. So who will win this auction? Time is running low. Which one would you guys pick, uh, fellow commentators? So is Nagito Kamida in this twice? Yes, he is. Okay. I think I would pick Team Equality, because I... You know, do y'all mind if I stop racism? <laughs> okay, I don't so... mind. Awesome, that's sick. You know what else is sick? The winner What's of that? this auction, which appears to be K's, but maybe somebody else will swoop in at the last possible second. Uh, it is. Cur it looks like it's K's. So K's, pick who you would like to be. Yes, K's. It is K's. Gives the bits over to me in exchange for picking the tag team in this bout. Who will it be, Kays? Please don't post that. We've got all the... <laughs> so, Kays, pick your team. We've got quite a few options. Oh, Kays wants full Rampa, the island squad of Fat Tagami and Nagi Tokamaida. Let's go. Bold choice. We've only Definitely had... the, the second best team that had Kamaida on it. Oh, that's not very nice. That's not very nice at all, Spood. Being a little, you're being what, you're being what the kids refer to as. Hey, a we're personalities. Bitch. We're allowed to make these hot takes. You're being what the what the fans refer to as a little bitch. I'm 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 worth more than a little bitch. I'm at least a slut. Hey now, you're an all star. Get your game on. Go play. Hey now. You know. So, looking into this matchup in advance, I don't really have much of a clue what Fat Tagami and Kamida are going to do against Popeye and Jason Voorhees. <laughs> yeah, well the thing is, you know, Popeye and Jason Voorhees is a very testosterone-filled team, right? They've just both got a lot of raw power. 
right. I don't really think. I mean, they they they're gonna have to rely on a lot of finesse and and less sort of like a rank. Well, Fetsukami and Kamida are not so chat by time any means. Uh, they don't really have much of a killer instinct in them. So now that you guys have had a chance to calm down and chat, who do you think will win this bout? Will it be Poopy and Jason or <laughs> uh, Dangling Grandpa? Who will it be? Vote now while you still can. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's. All right, so. Let's pray to everything holy that this actually run. Oh wait, shoot! Hold on, I need to. My bad, guys. In the commentators group. Uh, right. Okay. And yeah, there's a lot of setup involved here. My B. Run the match. I had to uh switch YouTube accounts so that I could get some more <laughs> dorks. Jesus. And uh, it, it feels hey, a lot like dorks. You can't do that. <laughs> it feels a lot like accessing my offshore bank account, right? The IRS has no jurisdiction here. You can't count our dorks. Down to the ring comes Team Angel Wings. If any of you guys remember Angel Wings from chat, he handpicked this team, and this is the team that they are hoping to achieve best ship glory with. He's best yeah, they end up doing that. They actually have a surprisingly good chemistry with one Jesus, another. Jesus, the Dongan Rampa music is so loud. It's oh, so man, loud. They're ready. There they are, the big boys. Oh shoot. I accidentally turned off all of the uh <laughs> I turned off all of the interface by accident, my bad chat. Uh, you oh, guys no. are underestimating the power of luck and body fat. Yeah man, luck and body fat, that's the two keys to success against a serial killer and a strong man. All right, chat. Let's see what will go down in this matchup. Back Tagami immediately going to town. Tagami is thick. He he's is. A, he's a up. very thick boy. He's he's the and, best kind of thick. And his tanky build may be what it may be a difference maker at least Ooh, for yeah. their team. Uh-oh, punch. We could say Tagami's luck could also be that. I do feel like Popeye's strong upper body is going to help him against <laughs> uh, Tagami, particularly. Praise the sun, you might be right. Nagito might actually just win by accident, like with a KO or something. Tagami patiently waiting for Popeye to enter the ring. Popeye looking for a big lariat. No, he's tagging in Jason Voorhees. Uh, oh, gets a big punch for his troubles anyways. Mm -hmm. The Ready Player One remix of Take On Me is playing in the background. Oh boy. I don't actually know what that sounds like, just somebody suggested it as battle music once. Uh oh! <laughs> oh, oh, oh god! Dragon sleeper! Jason Voorhees ranking on the neck. Surprised he's clawing for the face. Aha. Uh -huh. Joke. Tagging in Kamida. We could see something here. Or not. We got a couple of green shirted boys. Ultimate protagonist versus ultimate slasher. Let's go. I would say that currently, uh, Jason Voorhees has the advantage given that it's almost Halloween. <laughs> yeah, man, seasonal bonuses. That's right. Oh, the ankle pick! Is he just biting his shoe off at the same time? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. He was trying to take off the shoe. Uh-oh. Oh, ankle him. lock! Another one. He's really targeting the legs of Jason Voorhees. Smart move, considering he... Already doesn't have much mobility to begin so, with. One of these teams is going to face off against the Communist Connection, composed of the offensive powerhouse Starlight Glimmer and the defensive tank Zarya. Which of these two teams do you think would fare the best chance against the Communist Connection? Oh, okay, this is not legal, but he's gonna do it anyways, <laughs> and referee Luna's gonna let him. Hey, I Luna's think, uh. Is. Well, I, I don't really know much about the the Dang and Rampa team to be honest, so I would probably put my chips on Popeye and Jason. But I, I don't know. I mean, I'm I'm not uh, I'm not not impressed so far. Oh my God! Praise the sun just made the best joke ever. Frog, did you see it? I have not. Let me. He see said it. that Nagito's finisher should be the spear. Oh, that's dumb. It's really <laughs> dumb. <laughs> I wonder if it is though. I actually don't remember what his moves were. I mean, he seems to be doing a pretty decent job against Jason, surprisingly <laughs> enough. I didn't really think he would. Hi, I'm Anthony Sullivan is marking out over that joke. 
Oh, a big headbutt leveling Jason Voorhees. What the fuck? Oh, man. Hey, man, Kamada is using know? whatever hair substance he puts in his hair to, like, keep his... To keep everything flying as it does. You know, I could actually mod the game to make it so someone just uses a finger gun and just shoot, finger shoots them in the face. That could be a thing. That'd have to be the heavy. That'd have to be the heavy. Once more, guys. Oh, claw to the face. <laughs> Remember, By the, the way. Heavy, the heavy weapons guy needs your help to get <laughs> to capture the enemy intelligence. <laughs> hey, hey, I can't believe it. We've we've missed it after all this time because it wasn't here. E Dubs is no longer playing Soul Calibur Six. Huzzah! Oh, yeah, it's a tragedy. I guess he couldn't get it to run on his fucking like 1995 <laughs> Windows computer. Dude, praise the sun! Can you be my best friend instead of Froge? Like you even you made the Tales from the Borderlands reference, dude. Sick. It's sick, my dude. I, sure. I need to add Reese and Fiona in this. I don't know. Oh, great. Now the pizza pasta music from Spider-Man 2 is playing. <laughs> I feel like I miss a lot of DWF by not being able to hear them fight music. <laughs> I mean, I can... Well, remember what happened the last time I turned on the fight music in the Discord chair? Yeah, I do. It just fucking blasted. Wasn't great. You can hear Popeye it seems to be kind of bringing it to Fat Tagami, but as I say that, he gets a sidewalk slam for his troubles. Yes, hi, I'm Anthony Sullivan. You do need to play Tales from the Borderlands. It is fantastic. It's a fan. It's a really fantastic game. You should definitely play it. Doodle, no longer friends with Froge. Praise the Sun is my new best friend. <laughs> ah, the pizza music. Perfect for this situation. Tagami shouldn't... No, not Tagami. Kamida should not have been in the ring. I don't know what referee Luna is doing, but her well, job is definitely not it. Well, referee. Well, the referees have a have their own internal policy on a how long people bear can hug just on the big boy himself. Hey, Popeye's got big, strong arms. You know he does. Oh yeah, dude. It's Tagami's not every thick day, body. You see. Tagami's thick body could hold up pretty dang well against the constant streams of Seize the Memes from Starlight Glimmer. Beautiful chin hold. Just holding that chin in place, because he's got too Absolutely. many of his own. He's very experienced He wants to it. take his chin and add it to his own. <laughs> he's making a collection. Like, I don't... Like, this character model... got a model, tag? Oh. This character we, model do we? does not fully express just how luxurious Fat Tagami's skin was, I mean, body was, in Danganronpa 2. Welcome, Dark Skies! Welcome back to Season 3 of DWF on your birthday! Happy birthday! Hold on, let me give you a little something-something. Have a Fat Tagami for your birthday. <laughs> oh, that was actually super close. It was a 2.9 count. I don't think Kamida was quick enough to break it up, but Tagami was resilient enough to stay in. Maybe this could be enough for them to bring it back, though. Referee Luna not doing her job keeping people out of the ring who aren't it supposed to be in it. They seem to be doing a pretty decent job against Voorhees, though. Surprisingly. I mean, Voorhees is still kind of single-handedly winning this match. Yeah, this is a pretty bout. Oh! Tossing him clean out of the ring! Oh my god, Ooh, that's this could be it. 500 IQ! 700 oh, IQ! That was a 500... They were on some, like, synergy shit. That was sick, dude! Absolute brilliant. 50,000 IQ. They're not oh my able god. to keep Voorhees down for more than a one count. Double though. team. Still. I mean, he, he's Jason Voorhees, though, so, I mean, you know. Beautiful elbow oh. drop. Macho, Macho Man. Macho Man Randy Savage. Although Kamaita's very much not macho. Not at all. He's uh, quite skinny, in fact. Luna, Luna, Popeye's not the legal man. <laughs> oh, you know. Oh, Jesus! How the fuck did he level him like that? Yeah. I mean, he missed the first two punches. He was he was getting that lucky wind up, you know, third time's the charm. I and suppose all that. so. It's uh -oh. like XCOM RNG. Oh my time. God! Returning it with a big clothesline of his own. Rainmaker style. Him getting the style. ankle pick though, Kamida ends up on top. Surprisingly. 
Yeah, He's doing a good, good job not getting disoriented by each of Jason Voorhees' heavy blows. Kamida bringing Popeye over to the corner with Fat Tagami. Another ankle, ankle lock center of the ring. Popeye's losing his mind. He needs to land that big Popeye lariat on. Uh oh, Kamida's rolling around. Beautiful. Oh pin. man, oh, but it's a rope man. break, unfortunately. He Absolutely, it's a very Way unlucky break for Kamida there. Mater. Not well scouted at all. Impressive moves, oh. nonetheless, from Kamida, Kamida is just blowing up this ring. Up to the top for. <laughs> oh, oh, completely, completely whiffs. whiffs the crossbody. Kicks him in the ball. <laughs> He's not going to whiff this gonna time. Give it another try. <laughs> it's Olive very, oil is not going to be happy about that. He's very out of <laughs> Olive oil? Yeah, yeah, that's the name of the, his girlfriend. Oh, I, I didn't realize that. Dude, praise the sun, you're not wrong. Nagito gets better as the match goes on. Oh, to the tailbone! Oh, oh my goodness. I, I hate it when wrestlers sell their, sell, sell their groin on atomic drops, because it's like it's supposed to be a tailbone move. Right. It's like you're getting hit on your butt, not your balls. Again, friendly reminder, I'm doodled, over here's Frog. That's me. Over here, Spood. Uh oh! Oh! Cranking the leg! 90 degree angle! It's in the opposite corner. Maybe Tagami oh. could keep him back. Oh, he oh, got a God. massive choke slam. That was a face rake slam. Like, he just clawed his hands into his face. Brutal punches! Oh, you do not want to be on the receiving end of a Popeye punch. Nagi is in. not a guy you want to be in the ring with. The just go straight for the me. pin. Oh, this could be it. This I mean, could actually oh, be 2. it. Oh, 2.9! Oh, my goodness. The lucky Kamida break. showing some severe resilience. I mean, he's you know, he's, he's, he's survived a lot in his life. He needs to find Tagami right now. <laughs> he believes in his luck more than anything else. Don't you trust him with his belly-flopping power and not being able to get up afterwards because it takes... Oh, man. Kam yeah, Kamida's not oh. looking good. Jesus. He's delivering some huge blows, though. Nonetheless, he, ever he, since Voorhees was tagged oh my in, God. he's been he, nothing he's but just, offense. He's playing, he's like a trampoline! <laughs> oh my God, he's going nuts! Maybe this could be enough. Oh, See, that's Voorhees. That's like four elbow drops that Voorhees has received. But Voorhees is so resilient. He's a monster. Jason's ribs are out here looking like, uh... Oh, uh, tang. spaghetti. The smart <laughs> tag into Fat Tagami. He's gonna pick him up. No! Jason Voorhees taking control of Fatigami. This match could end at any moment. Like, this match has been in its final stages for quite a while. Absolutely. Uh-oh, uh-oh. DDT center DDTs. of the ring. Right below the Harry. No, no, no yeah. the other. It was Harry. a good idea to get uh, that rotund gentleman in. Oh. Absolutely. Even oh, clawing the stomach. That's his weak point or his strong point. Which one is it? We will find Maybe. out. <laughs> He's got a lot there, so it could be either. Uh oh. Uh -oh. oh! Brutal clothesline from Jason Voorhees onto Fat Tagami. What is he going to do this time? Choke slam from Fat Tagami, stomping on Returning Jason Voorhees! Returning the favor! Ooh, but he's not able to keep it up for very long. Voorhees just doesn't lose energy. There's a lot of large, lumbering gentlemen in this matchup. Oh, face claw! Face claw! He's gonna tear his beautiful face clean off! He's gonna rip. Reveal. He's gonna reveal nothing. Oh, trying to claw <laughs> off his mask. Back. Trying to take the mask off of Jason Voorhees. Failing. It is stapled on. Check your Twitter. Dude, I'm kind Spine of in the middle of the stream. Spinebuster from Jason the Voorhees. Spinebuster from the Jason of Voorhees. Just, just, no respect. Zero respect that, from Jason Voorhees. It. Team Angel Wings. Or Angel Fire? I don't remember. That's Angel Wings. The angel wings. We're just gonna let this play out. Harry's new wrestling name should be Underbear. Everyone guessed that one correctly. Team. Team Thundercheeks wins. I don't. Well, I will hold those ten dorks. You're you're very you're very cool. No, okay. guys, don't go all in on every single bet. That's such a bad <laughs> idea. Like, the one bet I didn't go all in on was the one I actually won, so now I look like Boo Boo the Fool. No, you just look like a fool. I um, look specifically Boo Boo the Fool. Yeah, but I mean, I'm just saying in general. 
I'm not saying in general, though. I'm saying I look like Boo Boo the Fool. No, I'm saying a general five star makes you look like anyways. Dude, I haven't talked to General Five Star in like at least eighteen years. You talked to him like two time. nights ago. <laughs> I didn't talk to General Five Star two nights ago. I haven't seen the guy literally in like a month at least. Hey guys, guess what? It's a it's a new auction time. You better prepare yourself for the Hope you saved small up your title dorks. match. <laughs> uh, wait, is this the? Yeah, this is the. This is the time. So who's gonna pick the first competitor in this auction? Gonna be sh much shorter auction, so let's run down our cast of potential small title of people who could potentially become the number one contender for the small title. We have Fluttershy, Lyra, Bonbon, Derpy, Bab Seed, Tracer, newcomer to the scene, DW, I mean Tree Hugger. We've got <laughs> that one anime bird girl. We've got 2B. We've got Diva. We've got some literature club people. We've got Surprise. We've got Mod Pie. We've got Earth Chan. We've got a whole host. Of, of little character people. Hi, I'm Anthony Sullivan. Is is in the is in the yes. Idea Maker, welcome back to the stream. It's great to have you. You seem like a very familiar human being. Oh my Sir goodness, Frog, Frog Finest. finest. Sir Frog right. Finest wants to have a representative. We're not sitting around here. Frog, who would you like to choose? Since you're probably gonna win the first one. We'll see. There are some people with more bit uh, with more dorks than me. No, you you got it now. I got it. Yeah, you got it. All right, so, run me through my options one more time. Well, you can see the stream, right? Yes, I can. <sighs> well, yeah, it's on the screen. I just there. wanted to do that for everybody. Else. Okay. Well. Oh well. I'll run another auction in the meantime while you're thinking about it. I guess. Okay. Absolutely. Dude, Frog Finest just gave his uh, his metaphorical credit card information to the heavy. That's not, absolutely right. He's Can not I really a heavy I mean, weapons guy for this. Hey, Frog is betting on matches just like everyone else. Now it just so happens that he's been here for every single stream, but that's a that's a separate point. Uh, right. <laughs> hey, idea maker, great to have you here. I'm oh definitely yeah, not Dark Skies. Dorks. Dark Skies is the one who sent me the uh, DWK character who I repurposed into Tree Hugger. So. Hats off to Dark Skies for for going into Fire Pro, making a character and sending it to me. By let's the go way, Dark Skies. let's go Dark Skies. Everyone give props to Dark Skies. By the way, Frog, who would you like to pick? Uh, fuck it. I want Babseed. Babseed, Babseed. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? In you. Uh, we need more bullies. No bullies. Is this like post or pre-reform Babseed? It looks like post-reform, so maybe she's not a bully. Oh no, I mean she's a she's a she's a roughhouser uh, brawler type, as we saw from her Cutie Mark Crusader matches when they were doing the four on four matches for the best crew league. Uh, so like... I will say this: if I can, I would prefer to have the heavy weapons guy. Okay, we'll we'll try to <laughs> we'll try to find him. Uh, <laughs> Oh my Let's god! Go. Oh my god! People are swooping in at the last second. Who the heck is Fort Fork Twit? I haven't even Who's seen Fortnite? you before. I've never even seen Fortnite before, but he got the auction. So Fortnite, go. Fortnite. Which character would you like to have to face off against Buttseed? Uh, let's see. Uh, edit card. Ooh. Well, title. If you lose the match. bid, I don't think you lose your money, by the way. Yeah, you don't lose your money if you lose the bid, so it's all good. Uh, Tracer! We are going to see Bab Seed versus Tracer, and the winner will go on to face Marble Pie for the small title. Honestly? I'm pretty Interesting hyped. matchup. That's an I'm, interesting matchup, for a, sure. We got a Brawler, we got a Speedster, we got... We get, where the fuck is Tracer? Dang this it. is definitely going to be a very offense on offense match, but two different styles. Okay. For sure. So this Bad. is going to be. I'm very interested in seeing how this pans and... out. Where the. Oh, right. She's under Lena Oxton. Duh. Damn it. <laughs> I used her real name in the game, and it's like I can't find her anywhere. Oh. Lena Oxton. There we go. Uh, overwrite match. Finalize. Update. Small title. Are you guys prepared? Are your rumpuses actually? Hold on, betting time. Every every human. Don't. Oh God. I'm. So, oh. Oh. Soup's on every pony. I I 
want to kill everybody in the world. I want to touch everybody in the world. <laughs> Alright, picture this. I want to kill every pony in the world. Uh, that exists. Does it really? I I think I wouldn't. Would you be? Would okay. Real talk. I wouldn't be surprised. Son of a bitch. Oh, I thought that was mine. It scared me. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so the chat is full blown in tracer mode at the moment. Uh, really? I mean, can you? No, I can't blame him. I think tracer is definitely the favorite in this upcoming match. All right. I mean, let's... she has the most fighting experience. That's for sure. All right, are you guys ready to see who will become the number one contender for the small title? Because I know I am middle of the road. Anyways, coming down to the partial. ring, to the song, Bab Seed, it is Bab Seed. That's right. Babs, more like Babs, hail. God, it's so, it's so much fun to see all you guys in chat. Give, give yourselves a little round of applause for having a good time, I guess. I don't know. Give yourself a pat on the back. Oh, it's 50-50 on the bets here. Really? Okay. Yeah. Seed has really loud music. tracer music. Really loud tracer music. Jesus. Check. Check. Mm. Mm. Tracer spot on. Jeez. That's like a really good design for a tracer. Yeah, workshop approved. She was up there like the third week the game was out or something. And mm. this match is now. Interesting underway. attire from Babseed coming down to the ring in like a in a shirt and slacks. Just not caring at all. Uh oh. I guess so. Fuck the cinematics. Uh, let's you're play a good harder, wrestler, better, you're a good wrestler. Let's play harder, better, faster oatmeal. That's the right that song to play this. Right. Let's go, oh, boys. God. Oh my god, Targeting cracking her tiny little British arm. Babs yeah, is a, I... Wait, is Babs a barber? Is that a, is that a thing that happened? I, I'm not caught up. <laughs> is, is she? I, no I haven't watched this show since like season, since like the very beginning of season six. So I... No. Yeah, I haven't seen it since the beginning of season, since... I don't even remember. I think beginning of season seven and like five episodes into season seven. I know, I know, I'm the horse guy. I should keep up on it, but I don't. I just... A lot of stuff going on. Anyways, it seems like Babsy kind of has the upper hand in this, at this beginning part of the match, at least within like the first two minutes. Oh, oh! Using that that uh controversial butt. Yeah, the controversial butt to deliver a huge hip check. Her Doesn't seem like it was able to turn things in her favor. Oh no wonder she's good at the body scissors. No, oh, come on. What? Come on, you're gonna make that joke? What? It's come on, it's not that bad. Uh, where is Spood? One, two oatmeal's playing. I know, but he's on his fork. phone. Fork, fork, two, fork, two, two, AJ. Fork, two, two, AJ. That's the name. That's what we're going with. Okay. Uh oh. Tracer is a speedy demon, but you don't want to enter a strike off against Bab Seed. Very bad move oh. on her part. She came out on top though, so maybe. I'm not sure where her pilot experience kind of oh. comes in handy here. Oh, Babseed is fist, angry. Like, Babseed is really angry, but Tracer's taking advantage of it to roll around. Oh boy. Oh my god, Tracer. She's a bit of a town. roughhouser herself. Babseed tackling her down to the mat. She's not done with her, lifting her up, oh. slamming her down. Yeah, that's gonna knock the wind right out of you. Ah, fork tut what? She's not gonna be one. She's not going to want to run around a lot after that. Knee to the chest. Senton. Oh, <laughs> Tracer trying to do a flipping maneuver. Didn't quite get all of it. Yeah, it gets red really hard. Uh-oh. Oh, the, the spinning Canadian toe holds, whatever it's called. I don't know. Oh! Ooh, just a, just a basic... Was that like a knee bar or figure four? I, is... I know Shining Armor has it as like his signature maneuver that ends matches. But I don't know what Tracer would call it, and I don't remember what Shining Armor calls it either. Well, so it's I'm a move. sure that Froge is definitely on the side of Bab Seed here, and uh, I fork... am. I I put 200 bits on her. Fork Twit is a uh, very much in the side of Tracer here. Bit inside of Tracer. Hmm. 
Trace of letting the emotions get the better of her. I don't know. It looks like Bab Seed might be the emotional one of these two. Absolutely. She's very over... casual headlock. She, Tracer's... She... Much like how Tracer plays in the game, she's very selective about when she goes in offensively. Yeah, definitely so speed when she versus... does, it's heavy. Uh, I did not rename Shree Hugger's finisher, Dark Skies. It is still called the totally legit finisher. It's the it's still a burning hammer. It's still I kept most of the moves the same, just changed some of the more aggressive ones to be more chill. That Another was figure it. four. Break the uh, broken up though. Uh oh, leading sliding tackle, slipping and sliding. Oh, grabbing the foot. FC is on the ropes though. Hmm. It seems like Tracer has been able to turn uh -oh. things back in her favor for a bit. Well, you Again, say Bab that has... right as Bab Seed lands a disgusting Samoan drop. Mm -hmm. Attacking the legs of Bab Seed, trying to, trying to take away what little speed that she might have had so that way Tracer's speed game can come to her advantage. Misses Ooh, by a mile. She goes for the legs once more. She still needs to be in the reversal stage of this, but she's going for it again. There she goes, kicking the legs out from underneath her. Oh, yeah, yeah bear it, hug, tree hug. Nice. Like, that's maybe, you're probably right, praise the sun, that's a good idea. Oh, the Kofi! Yep, that's the trouble in paradise, as they call it in the professional world. Smash Brothers, oh. this definitely feels like a Smash Brothers match. Uh oh, Tracer going you up to the ropes! Something. Oh my god, brutal knee! Like, she leaped through the air, grabbed her by the head in midair, and slammed her knee into her head. That is the That's control gonna... and finesse that Tracer has when she is in midair. Absolutely. Bab C just needs to find a way to not only turn the momentum in her favor, but for her to keep it. Bab because Seed. she has an issue of overextending herself. Pound and ground from... I mean, yeah. Ground and pound, all the way around. Uh-oh, Bab Seed. Oh! Ooh. So, oh! Tracer nimbly going around onto her back, just donkey punching her. <laughs> For oh real. my god, Tracer is... Oh, she's angry. She really is letting the emotions... Oh that my was... god, Jawbreaker. Off the ropes. Full speed ahead. Going around the back. Taking out her feet. Tracer... Tracer is definitely fighting to her strengths here. Running Using the circles. speed to outmaneuver. Oh, the flippity flip flop dippity doop da Beautiful shooting oh, star press into a pin. God. Two. Three. That's it. Tracer. Tracer putting on an incredibly dominant performance in the second half of that match. That was an... It was hard for Babsy to keep up. That was an excellent match from the one, the only, Tracer, a.k.a. Lena Oxton. Holy crap, holy. That was a Wonderful match. Wonderful performance by the pilot herself. That was a match and also a half. Honestly, I have to agree. Spood missed out on that entire match. Yeah, Spood, uh, let's pretend that something completely different happened and just completely tricked Spood when he comes back. Mm-hmm. I, 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 I don't have any ideas for that, but I'm just saying that would be funny. We'll just pretend like the match didn't happen. Uh, sure. I cannot find what I am looking for on all these many screens in front of me. I am not a professional. There we go. So... That was the number one contender for the small titles. Now Tracer, Tracer will be facing off against Marble Pie. Uh, she beat one Pie sister. No, wait, no, she didn't. That was that was Bab Seed, <laughs> not. <laughs> that wasn't a Pie sister at all. Anyways, I'm a smart human. I I know things. She's an Earth pony. So we've had enough auctions for today. We we want everyone on the chat to get in on the action. And you know what you're gonna get in on. The four-way elimination match to see who will face Bulk Biceps for the Best Husbando Championship. Is and it two more auctions? It's not an auction. It's not an auction. Instead, it is something that takes up far more time to set up than it should. It is. In fact... Hold on. Need to, need to get it. Is it a vote? <laughs> it is a vote, yes. Thank you for ruining it. Anyways, uh, I'm going to leave the link in the chat. You all go to that link... Leave your votes, and uh, have a have a good day based on the bet. Uh, let's. Oh jeez, you put Spike the Brave and Glorious in here. I wonder who's gonna make it in.
So, uh, who who are you voting for, my dude? I voted for Gabe the Glue Man DeGrossi. Well, you can vote for any number of people. I'm also voting for Sans and Nagito Kamaita. Uh, looks like so far we've got a... Uh, Jesus, what is this? Uh, so far we've got Sans, Pink... G oh, so far... Pro oh, so far... Gabe the Glue Man DeGrossi is on the top. Nope, oh, Nagito Kamaita, Danny Sexbang, and Sans. Wait, Nagito Kamaita already fought. Well, people really want to see fingers in his ass, the match. Absolutely. So we've got Lucky Luciano, Danny Sexbang... No, we've got Danny Sexbang, Nagito Kamaita... Oh, now we got Edge... No, now we got Gabe the Glue Man DeGrossi on the top. He is tied for first. Excellent taste. Uh, it's currently a four-way tie between four competitors, and I'm not sure if he's just that lucky. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, oof, you can is... put it to a random number oh, okay. generator or Gabe something. Gabe is out in complete and total first place. He is absolutely going to be in this match. But who will join him? If anybody hasn't voted yet, your vote may completely decide this. Or... We might just make this a six-way match instead. Do you have Gabe the Glue Man DeGrossi's theme song from the live-action German Rumble? Yes, Rumble? I do. It is Absolutely. the exact... That's perfect. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to do here, because uh, it's a three-way tie for seconds between Sans, Danny Sexbang, and Nagito Kamaida. Uh, yeah, this is awkward. Oh, 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 okay, generator. we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it in. It is going to be Sans and... Gabe the Glue Man DeGrossi heading in. Sans and Gabe are going into this match. Spike, well, Spike's had his run. Spike, we created him in the very first episode of DWF together with the chat. He's a big favorite, but hey, he needs some time off from the best husbando scene. He's had his run. He's had his laughs. He's had his gaffes. He's had his horrible, horrible experiences. For sure. He's, he's lived a life here, you know? So, chat, let me ask you a simple question. Who do you think will win? Will it be Review Bra? Will it be Shrek? Will it be Sans? Or will it be Gabe the Glue Man de Grossi? De Grossi? So, chat, it's time for you to begin your bet as I frantically try to get this set up. <laughs> Nice Tazmando. Hopefully Spood can get back soon. I, I miss that guy. He was a cool guy. I have to agree. Not as uh, gross as I am. Man, where's Spood? Oh, I already miss him. What would he add to this conversation right now? Probably not much, to be honest, but, you know, he'd probably say some hilarious story about Soul Calibur 6 or something. I guess this is a good of as time of any as to remind you guys that the heavy weapons okay, guy we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna start this match soon so that way you can't <laughs> do that little spiel um the heavy weapons guy no frog please this is for the sake of he humanity. needs your help he needs your help frog to capture the no. opposing team's intelligence frog and you need your credit card this is my life we're talking about here particularly the 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 numbers up front the... All right, you know what? It's time to wrestle. Get your gear on. It's time. Four-way match. Year. Here comes the food reviewer himself. And the three numbers on the, on the back. He you needs your help. Uh, let's get some music going. We can, feel the, we can feel the vibe. Feel the rush. That wasn't even a word. So it's Gabe the Glue Man DeGrossi in the, in the brown pants and the gross yellow Why body. Why does Shrek look perfect? Because people spend a lot of time making perfect Shreks. I suppose so. Out of the ring. By the way, this is an elimination match. So not a over the top rope. Yes, not over the top rope, but it is elimination. So who will get eliminated first in this matchup? It is all against each other. There are no teams in this matchup that I know of. They're all working together against each other. We could see uh, perhaps an alliance form, but rest assured it's going to be temporary. Because in the end, one must come on top. So, if you want to know their fighting style, Sans, very slow, very methodical, very strong. He's speaking into a microphone. He's... Shrek, that's... That's a, ch that's a chair. 
Luna's counting for the chair. He, he did he just hit Sans? Did Sans just no sell two chair shots? Sans I think he just... missed the first one. He might have. Now we just have a chair in the ring. Now we have a weapon. So as you can tell, in this review. Bra oh, okay. onto the chair. Review okay, bra. review bra is not doing good. Review bra, review bra is a very stand-up boxing gentlemanly type of fighting style. He's not used to all these graps and haps and wet haps. He certainly needs to do a better job of keeping his distance because he gets within headbutt range of Shrek, and that's not somewhere you want to be. Oh, Spood, please come home. <laughs> I wonder, it seems I wonder like if he's Sans actually. And Shrek have been kind of dominating this match so far. I guess you could say Sans has a very thick skull. Yep, that's why he does headbutts. There's a lot of headbutts going on in this matchup. Absolutely, a lot of heads clanking together. Review... Oh, gave the Gwyman to Grossi, given one of his own. Yeah, I mean, he's kind of a, got a sticky head, so he doesn't really take a whole lot of damage yeah. on that one. But all these headbutts, somebody's probably going to bust themselves open. Sans just yeah. collapsing outside the ring. Shrek going to town on everyone. Sans has a bone to pick with his comp. Ugh. There's a bone to pick. Oh my god, headbutt from. That. Just so many headbutts. The only one who's not headbutting is Review Bra, who sticks to stand up strikes. But the, his opponents will not just stand still and take those strikes. It's a really tough bout for Review Bra, we must say, because all of these people are known for having strong or hard to damage heads. <laughs> Pretty much. In the case of Gabe the Gloom and the Grossi. But he does know how to, how to strike the body. Oh, but he is just on the mat. He is not feeling it tonight. What the hell just happened? I don't I'm know. I'm not sure. Sans tried Something's to soup like Shrek. In the ring. God damn it, Frog. There's a reason why we pay you the big bucks, Frog. That's right. That's the reason for these fucking class A jokes. Uh oh. Oh my god, the punches. Okay. Shrek is not falling to these punches, but he is taking some serious damage. That's Absolutely. a lot of damage. Oh, 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 Gabe the Gloom and Grossi completely whiffs a shoulder tackle. Uh-oh, looks like Review Bra's getting Ooh, a little tired. Sleeper hold. The sleeper hold might make him even more tired. It seems out. Maybe. He's... Review Bra is definitely on the weak end right now of this bout. It's tough, uh -oh. though. His moveset's Sands, not optimal for this. The dominant pin. Yeah, the that's uh, that's the alpha male pin. Hey, hey, Phil Swift is on my list of characters to make. Hi, I'm Anthony Sullivan. Don't you worry about it. Ooh, we got a roll-up. Oh, that was <laughs> actually super close. Yo, Spoot is back here to see the best hus the number one contender for the best Husbando championship between Shrek, Review Bra, Sans, and Gabe the Glue Man DeGrossi. Yes, the chat voted for Gabe the Glue Man DeGrossi against all odds. The most yeah, you never really... You never really have a good concept of how fucking weird this all is until you step away for a bit and you come back and you don't have like all the context leading into the fight. <laughs> uh, it's so good to have you back, Spoot. I cannot hear out of my left ear. I am so sorry. God, everyone's making terrible skeleton puns. I think they've picked their favorite. Tossing Sands out of the ring, wanting to make this less of a multi-man match with Sands. Ever I don't know how Review Bra still in this. Is I Review Bra? Is someone bleeding? Oh, what? Oh my god, oh, Sans my... breaking the laws Ooh. of physics! He gave him the bad time! That's the bad time! That's a very One, bad time. This two, two three, no, 2.9 oh, Review Bra hanging in there! Brilliancy of the gentleman himself. So is this um last one standing, or is this first out? It's last one standing, yeah. It's uh, elimination. Yeah, Oh, but Review Bra's on his final legs. He's a stand-up striker. He's not used to these multi had, Oh, He's just God. had a tough time. He's not good against any of these people. I mean, he's a fantastic stand-up striker, but against three opponents at once, there's not much help with that. Yeah, they're not taking well, my... Well, it's also... Everyone's like, making bone jokes. Why? Okay. Yeah, you need to calm down. Review Bra has decided to switch strategies, working alongside Shrek. Oh my god, choke That's slam from Sans! Sans going for the pin on Shrek. Is this gonna be it? We saw a two count earlier. 2.9! Sans is a monster. Holy he is. No. He's. I've got a bone to pick. Oh he's my put god! Up a very dominant this. performance. Dude, dude, he's all by himself. He's standing up. He can catch his breath. Yo! Oh, he got elbowed by Gabe the Glue Man to Grossy. He's so gross. As such. He's so gross. Uh oh, Shrek. Oh! Oh my god, Gory Bomb! Jesus well, that's gonna Christ. Hurt. That's gotta hurt a lot. He's still oh, up, but oh, who knows Sands how is long the only one left last. standing after that one. Punch. Punch, it's all in the mind. Punch. Punch, it's all in the mind. 
Oh my god. Sam's... Taking a... Ooh. The clothes oh to the body being a... Oh god! Jesus, Ooh. spinning chop. He's into This his... is brutal. Dude. Oh, gave the glue man to Grossy, countering a choke slam, but... Dude, Review Bra is entering his desperation up. mode. He's unleashing his craziest punches here. His oh, spinning as we saw against Sans. Uh -oh. oh. Oh, oh, knocking him oh, down with one punch. Whoa. Ooh. Oh, spinning back fist to the back of the head. Dude, We're Review Bra seeing... has entered his second stage. He's knocking Absolutely. everyone down. He's oh catching my his god. Laddix, welcome to the stream. Review Bra's going to town. We've got Shrek, we've got Sans, we've got Gabe, the glue man to Grossi. Oh, Review Bra's leveling everybody. Oh my god, Review Bra's Dude. going insane. Oh, oh no, the he's bullying Shrek now. Oh my this god, terrible. he's broken the oh limit, dude. God. Dude, Shrek, everyone's exhausted in this match. Yes, welcome to the stream, We haven't Laddix. had a single elimination yet. Oh my god, is he oh, Yo, going to absolutely town on Shrek? Chance. Dude, he's oh breaking god. the conditioning. German suplex this into another German suplex into a pin. Rope break. Oh, that's a rope break. Bro. Oh my god, oh. Looks like he was going to go for his rush punches there, but he wasn't able to hit all of them. Oh, spinning back fist. He keeps missing him. Sands with the elbow to the back. It's hard It's hard to tell who's going to go down first. Everyone's exhausted. Oh, reverse suplex from Shrek. Very rare movement. Oh, my God. Sands, bad time. Another one. Oh, my. They're oh, all dead. Everybody's dead. They're all dead. Oh, my. Yo. Was up first. Review bra bringing it home. Uh-oh, Shrek. Oh, just dropping him on his head. That's messed up, oh Shrek. It doesn't have enough in him to go for the pin. Baymax18, welcome to the stream with the most obvious question in the world. Without an obvious answer, oh, was what? that fire? There was an explosion! There was a fire in the ring. I don't know where. Gave the Gloom and the Grossy set Shrek on fire! I don't know what just happened. I, I'm i very confused. Oh my god, Donkey oh, Punch god. is Sans just, is just getting leveled Sans. right now. No bully, no cry. Mom, this surely is a dream. <laughs> oh, 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 going to town on Sans, taking him down. Oh my god, he's, he's going to bra, town. Starting off not looking like he had much of an opportunity uh -oh. in this match. Suplex against out of the any ring. Of these people. Shrek is out of the picture for the time being. Sans, review bra, elbow drop. Oh, oh my god, going for an elbow drop. Unusual for review bra there, but he's, he's in as a. Top Tim, top Tim, best anime fights. Oh! Yeah, Shrek does have two sets of ears. It's uh, not great. But <laughs> it's fine. Uh, oh my god, this map, dude, all of these guys could be eliminated at any second. They are all on their last win wins, their last breaths. Review Bra opting to just catch his breath. You oh, can't really blame him. Jesus. Dude, there's so. Yo! Going to town on Shrek behind Luna's back! Shrek. Oh, go my. Oh, just leveled Sans too. These Re punches. Review bra. Review bra is are insane. insane. Review bra is definitely the star of this fight. What what is his I, official I, YouTube name? Like weekly show or whatever. Report of the week. Yeah, dude. They need to report of the week. Yeah, they need to. Oh my God! Double white noise. Good lord. Sans is the only one left standing. Oh, oh no. Choke They're slam. Up on review, review bra, bra oh, is dead. No, Gabe good. saving review bra. Perhaps looking for an opportunity to just take out Sans, who's been extremely dominant in this match up to this point. That's a true... Dude, at, dude, does everyone actually want Gabe to win? Like, nobody even knows who he is. He's just a man made of glue. Oh, Shrek with those big meaty fists. Take Review Bra refuses to bounce off the ropes. He just refuses. Gory oh, bomb. Oh, another Gory bomb. This he, could this, be this. It. Oh, Shrek is catching his breath. He might not be able to pin him in time. Uh-oh, this could be it for a uh, review bra is out of it. No. Great review showing from review way bra. Too much. Absolutely. Fantastic performance by review bra. But he took way too much damage uh, throughout ZGC, that match. ZGC Brony, I'm sorry to hear you enter this chat only to see your champion be eliminated. Oh, Shrek. Oh, deadlifting Gabe. Casual suplex. But he's tired. Oh my god, multiple All of headbutts. these people are tired right oh now. Oh my god, Maybe they're all exhausted. Gabe the Glue Man de Grossi. Yeah, dude, Gabe the Glue Man de Grossi, one of the best basketball of players here. of all time. He's so athletic. Yeah, a former member of the Boston Celtics. <laughs> at the prime of their career. It's true. It's completely true. All of what you just said is true. Shrek. Ready to go to town. Oh! Sands tossing Gabe around. They, everyone in this ring are a bunch, a bunch of tired, strong dudes just exhausted after this match. 
Oh, uh, Gabe is taking so much damage, but he he's still able to keep up. Dude, even though Revivra got eliminated, he's still, like, he's gonna live on in all of our hearts. He is a premier striker. He, you should Absolutely. go up against Yang to see who's the better striker, assuming Yang loses tonight to the Apple family, which could be a tired buff, boys. So oh, game, boy, Sanders is getting the shit beat out of him right now. Headbutt. Oh, oh my Ooh. god. Backdrop. Backdrop. Gabe, the glue man to Grossi, is in the open. He could go for his finishing maneuver, but Shrek interrupts it. Shrek, beautiful. Bam, a nation. Sands up to the top rope. What is he waiting for? He's waiting. waiting. He gets down. Uh, he just got back down. Belly to belly. Oh, Blueplex. Shrek it's a too. Blueplex. A huge man. Oh my god, it's a Blueplex. Dude, Spike Mania was so sick. Do review Bra versus Alex Jones. Anyways, uh, I forgot. I don't even know how many people voted for each person in this. This match is going on for a little while. Gabe, uh, the glue man to Grossi got the most votes. Oh my god, Gabe going to town on Shrek. Gabe could be. Oh, but Shrek just <laughs> just casually. He's manhandling him. Dude, what an unsafe worker Shrek is. Just not caring at all if he injures them or not. Oh! <laughs> Not a smart move from Shrek, the mech. Oh, choke, slam. Oh, Gabe coming in from behind, wanting to beat down. But Shrek coming in. Shrek, no, Sans. Good. This is why Shrek is getting another sequel. You are absolutely right, Paymax. This is such an intense match. Anything sure. could happen at any moment. Uh-oh, Sans Shrek is, is readjusting nope. himself, maybe Shrek. catching his breath. Oh god, it gory bomb gory from Shrek. Bomb. This, this time, time the Sans, Sans, Sans just back up gets back up though. like it's nothing. Oh, fireball from Sans! Hits both of them. I, sorry, my headphones just exploded. Oh god, Sans is down. <laughs> Sans is down, everyone's down, Shrek is tired. Nobody knows what to do, how to put away their opponents. They're all going for that big move to put them away for good. But this is such an intense triple threat matchup. Portal. Shrek looks like he's worse for wear after that fireball. Dude, PK fire from Ness. Oh my god. PK <laughs> fire from Ness. That's terrible. <laughs> That's a great joke. I didn't, even, I didn't even get it when I read That's it. That's a fantastic joke. Oh, oh missing the cross Wow, body. the big brain move from Gabe the Glue Man to Grossi. Oh, going for a quick pin. One. This could be it. Two. Oh my god. The oh. sneaky pin from oh the greatest basketball player of goodness. all time. He played for the Celtics, and he ruined the dreams of Sands. Oh Averaging over 100 points Dude. per game. Cosmos. Gabe the glue man to Grossi, one of the greatest basketball players of all time. Cosmos, the only <laughs> British rapper alive. Here comes Shrek going for the... Oh my god, full body weight. Oh, this could oh be it. I don't my know how Gabe could get him off. It is going to be That's Shrek it. versus Bulk Biceps. I wasn't even playing any music. No, I was. It just was really quiet. I'd say there's potential. Well, we're gonna have a big boy match. Wowzers. For sure. Maybe... Just maybe, Harry the Bear has met his match here. Oh, are you not British, Cosmos? I'm sorry. So, Shrek won with the Muscle Bomb Press. Uh, John Jurasek, a.k.a. Review Bra, a.k.a. The Weekly Report. Is that what it's called? He's Australian. Right. I'm so sorry, Cosmos. I'm bad with accents, okay? Scooter Tricks is still here. How you doing, my dude? Anyways, that was a ball-busting match. That was not Absolutely. the right term terminology. Um, it was fantastic. Holy shit, what about... A real, a real barn burner, so to and speak. And we still have, like, the real, like, title matches left to go here tonight. Ladies and folks... Um, I think I forgot to put a slide in here. I'm a moron. <laughs> I'm the biggest dummy. Oh, no, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. I can, I can, I can salvage this. You can work this. with this. I can salvage it. Um, okay. Uh, can you guys see that? Yes, you can. Okay. <laughs> so, that was a beautiful four-way match. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get Doge because he's fighting. I can't get Luna because she's replacing Doge. Isn't it weird how things work out? How everything must be delayed. <laughs> Maybe time for you to learn the truth, Twilight Sparkle. <laughs> 
Well, that was a completely ordinary. <laughs> wait, hold on. Wait, fuck. It wait, hold on. <laughs> wait, wait. What match is next? Wait, fuck. Okay, oh, no, I did forget to put something in here. It's the best. Okay, <laughs> hold on. Let me. Let me in just... the interim, please remember to help the heavy get the enemy <laughs> intelligence by giving him okay. the 16 digit number on the front of your mother's credit Please card stop. three digits on the back no. side of the credit card and the expiration so, month and year we are ne now to our actual title matches will raven defend her title her best waifu title against the we fit trainer chat it is up to you now to bet on who you think will come away with the Ech, waifu title uh, and then, okay, sweet, sweet, okay, cool, all right, everything is not bad, it's actually okay now, everything, okay. everything is cool and ha only happy, nothing sad, nothing sad allowed here, uh, are you guys ready for the Wii Fit Trainer to defend her title against Raven? As I'm boy ready. howdy, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> Raven has the overwhelming majority of the bets here. Like, people know Wii Fit Trainer can do some crazy stuff, but, uh... Here comes Wii Fit Trainer. She is the challenger, so she comes out first. Mm-hmm. Wii Fit Trainer coming down to the Wii Fit music. The Yoga Warrior, her finishing maneuver she could pull out at any time is the balance board, which is literally just a backslide pin. Literally, it works. It's she can pull arm bars out of nowhere, leg bars out of nowhere, backslides out of nowhere. She can win at a moment's notice. And here, coming out to the music of WCW Raven, it's Raven. That's terrible. That's a it's, terrible joke. It's no, no. She, she actually is coming out. To, 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 really? Yeah, really. Oh, that's a, that's great. <laughs> It went for Wii Fit Trainer, though, I think the chat the chat may be underestimating the Wii Fit Trainer here because once oh. more she was she was one of the few people that was able to put up a very serious fight against Harry the Bear. And at one point right. we thought she was maybe a contender for best horse. Marvel vs. Capcom Phoenix Wright music, let's go. All right, looks like Wii Fit Trainer is going in hard. The frames are dropping, just like Raven just did. Dropping her down to the mat. Here comes Wii Fit Trainer versus Raven. Raven it's going to be interesting. Toss. Both of these two have like their own little variants of technicality to their moveset. They're both yeah. very technical Their wrestlers. matches have both been really, really short. Any match they've been in, they just ended at a moment's notice. Like, we can see an Azeroth, Metreon, Crucifixos at any time. She even has the Crucifix... Cru Didn't Raven have the Crucifix Bomb or is that somebody else? The Crucifix Power Bomb or something? I don't remember. But yeah, she has the Crucifix Power Bomb. That is her finishing move. Octopus Ooh. Stretch! Jesus. The normal dad stretch coming from Raven. Okay, the ring is bloody. I don't know which match that's from. I think it was probably from the previous one. All the headbutts going around. People probably busted Absolutely. themselves open. Absolutely. There was a lot of bloody foreheads. Uh -oh. Probably oh. Blood. oh, missing the cutter. Oh, we Fit Trainer playing very patiently here. Mm, the strikes from uh, Raven have so far been very well, uh, very well placed. Spood, what are you seeing in this match? Oh shit, he's, he's not, not here. here. He's he, muted. Oh, dang it. No! Oh, Spoon's my best We just friend. gotta carry it. We gotta carry this We together, gotta carry man. this. Just like how We Fit Trainer is carrying herself surprisingly well against the incredibly dominant Raven. Like, she is a Absolutely. dominant force to reckon with. Beautiful not... figure Ooh. eight leg lock! Ooh, figure eight! I'm not sure how I feel about the We Fit Trainer trying to get into a, strike, a striking bout with Raven, though. So, she's not really known for being much of a striker. She's oh. a good takedown artist, and she's a good submission specialist. Working the leg. Beautiful place to work. That sounded really wrong. Um, y y Yuri is actually not in any title scene at the moment. Uh, the, the chat had the chance to pick for her to be in the title scene, but they did no, not. I missed out on that. Uh, missed out on it. But she will probably show up next time to do some shenanigans or whatever. Who knows? There's, I mean, Absolutely. DWF has a big roster now. Like, there's not enough time for everyone. Hmm. The takedown artist, the Wii Fit Trainer, has so far been really bringing it to Raven. You're right, what sounds super wrong to some people sounds super right to others. You're completely right, praise the sun. Beautiful figure eight leg lock, Ooh, locking it mother. in. 
A little too close to the ropes, though. Not able to get the maximum punishment out of Raven that move. Raven is an expert. Oh, my God. Airplane spin. She has all these intricate maneuvers down. We fit trainer going for the more basic tried and shrewd maneuvers, taking her down to the ground, but Raven countering with a water wheel drop. Both of these two showing some oh. excellent counters to one another. This oh. has so far been a very Tackling. technical match. Okay, Sam Samwise, this isn't a Twy versus Doge match. All right, keep 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 it in your keep it in your pants. For real. <laughs> Big snapmare from ooh, oh. God, working the legs time after time again. By the way, fun fact: Raven was actually the first character I ever had a crush on. Yeah, that's you did, right. Nobody needed to know that. The big pity goth, yeah. Okay, hold on. They were like medium at best. All right, don't. That's right. I, I was um, I was giving her too much credit. <laughs> hey, hey, no. Okay, let's actually let's be respectful to these performers. Let's in be the respectful ring. to these. This isn't the divas era, Froge. That's right. The only doors Quit you've been racist. through. The only <laughs> doors you've been in is is John Cena. Okay. Oh, beautiful armbar! Oh, this could be the end of the match. Her armbars are deadly, almost as deadly as as Twilight's. Almost I'm as still deadly amazed. as Raven's tits. I'm still amazed. Okay, Stop. I'm done. I, <laughs> I'm done. I, it's amazing that a uh, that Doge counted the TKO on Fluttershy like body slamming Twilight because when, remember when Twilight uh. Although that was actually before pre DWF, Twilight broke Fluttershy's arm in like 13 seconds. For real. Hiyoko, oh my god, get Hiyoko in here, just job to everyone. Oh, that'd be so satisfying. Anyways, uh, <laughs> she'd actually be pretty Ooh, good though, because she'd be athletic. Are, once again, working the legs. This, this is a very technical matchup. We've seen a lot of big, sweaty dudes going at it. Now we've got a very energy filled, technical matchup full of arm bars and leg bars and takedowns. Beautiful headlock! God! Just trading submission holds. What trading the... takedowns as well. Balance Both of these board. two are kind of beat for beat with one another. I wonder if the balance board is going to come out here. Oh, rope break. What, what are Ooh, your thoughts on this matchup, another one. I think... I don't know. I don't want to make any real comments because I'm trying to oh, feel out stretch. Raven. I haven't really seen her fight, uh, but I know Wii Fit Trainer is pretty good. Oh, we fit trainer just working the leg, working the leg super, super hard, restricting Raven's movement so she can't move out of the way of the lightning quick armbar attempts. This is a really smart, like procedural, procedural strategy from Wee Fit Trainer, taking out the legs, <laughs> restricting her movement, and then going after the arms once she can't run away. Like Raven's moving so slowly now because of how badly her legs have been damaged. That's that's an actual mechanic, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, Beautiful figure eight leg lock middle of the ring, but her legs are so damaged she can't get the full leverage on that leg lock. Raven's, absolutely, and with yeah. her legs being damaged so far up to this point, Raise she's not the sun get is it absolutely right. In. Raven's never been worked this hard before, but any submission hold from either of these two competitors could end the match. They are experts at ending the match on a whim, but Raven usually relies on her Metreon, Sethrioth, Crucifix, whatever it's called. Hey, dude, Dark Skies, you missed a Doge match earlier. There's a Doge match earlier tonight. You can catch it in the archive, Dark Skies. You'll love it. It's full of shenanigans. Things. With, with it's full of things. Limestone pie. Anyways, uh, Axe Ooh. Kip attempt misses. Raven takes advantage of it. Snapmare Raven's down to starting the to keep her distance a little bit more. Oh! Kind of re oh! into the strategy. Rana. Raven's going for the big moves now, right as the, f the stream drops frames. Wonderful. Raven's That's when going you know it's good. Raven's going for the big moves, the big lady moves. Oh, stealing Octavia's finisher with a bow and cello. Or just bow and arrow, I guess, because... Yeah, it's, not... it's just oh, a regular oh, bow and arrow at this oh, point. Oh, locking in the arm bar from below. This could be it. Beautiful maneuver from the Wii Fit this trainer. This could be it. She's been working the arms quite a bit. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, 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 knees, God. knees, beautiful strikes, working those strikes in. Those oh, Muay Thai knees really are going to do a lot of damage. I don't think Treehugger actually got into a match, Charts, guys. I don't think anyone chose her, unfortunately. Raven's winded. She has a hard time moving around but now. It could be it could be it for her. The Wii Fit yeah, trainer Raven's... strategy has been just flawless. I don't even know point. who is in advantage in that position. It's a bit Yeah, it could have been either one of them. Is, really. Is Spood muted again? <laughs> no, I am oh, not muted. Just <laughs> taking in the glory of this match. But yeah, Dark Skies. Don't worry, Dark Skies. We will make sure that uh, Tombstone. We will make sure that we will make sure that Tree Hugger debuts next time on 
Oh! Oh my god, almost winning with the tombstone, putting her under. Oh, the oh, leg lock raven screaming in pain. Hey, oh my god, we fit traitor is the new best waifu! As we said, that strategy, Goodness. the entire match was absolutely the difference maker. Can we get some drum roll fanfare, please? Holy crap. We Glad to know that dethroned. all the commentary I was doing in my brain was correct. <laughs> Dethroned Raven. Dethroned only Blue Rolian had any faith in our lovely little Wii Fit trainer and our new champion. Congratulations to Blue Rolian and the Wii Fit trainer. Both alike. Coming, coming home with some big dorks. Holy balls, honestly. What a wonderful match, honestly. Whole... We, we got it. Everyone thought that 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 uh that Raven could not be beaten, but then we fit told trainer comes under along. Never underestimate the we fit trainer. She is fit. She is agile. She's not fat. Contrary she's a to strategist belief. too. Yeah. Every single match she's entered in, she's had a very solid strategy for how to go about it, and it's been working out for her. She does have superpowers. Can we fire whoever keeps cutting to me while I'm eating? But, uh, yes, right, a reminder. These bouts between Ruby and the Apple family have been good fun, but everything must come to an end. Tonight, one team will become champions while the losing team will be dissolved from four-person competition. Good day. <laughs> so the stakes of this match oh, have been raised, because these guys have been going at it, going at it, going at it, going at it. For a while if the now. Apple family gets dissolved, I might kill myself in real life. Hold on. Really? I thought you hated them. <laughs> this matchup is No. Like, so... I mean, I do, but, like, you know, it's a, it's a strong emotional reaction. It's kind of like doing coke. Yeah, I get so, that. So, chat, who do you think will win, Team Ruby or the Apple family? But, in the meanwhile, while that bet is running, guess what <laughs> is happening? Are you serious? Something's I, happening in the ring? My My sources tell me something is happening in the ring. No, no, it's not. You're lying. My sources tell me that nothing is happening in the ring. <laughs> I'm going to follow up to that. We currently see in the ring right now, it's the heavy weapons guy with the enemy <laughs> intelligence. Guys, with your help, the heavy weapons guy <laughs> has captured the enemy intelligence. Well, you... <laughs> Let's give a big round of applause to the heavy weapons guy and to all of you who gave you trusted the heavy weapons guy with your mother's credit card information. <laughs> and, with, and, with his, and with your mother's credit card, he was able to purchase Soul Calibur 6. <laughs> and thank you to all of you who graciously gave up all of your hats to the heavy weapons guy as well. Anyways. All of you, we couldn't have done it without you. Let's the see. heavy weapons guy couldn't have done it without you. I said, let's see. Sorry. <laughs> Let's see what's happening in the ring. It appears Team Ruby are making their way down to the ring. The current Best Crew Champions. They uh, got to the finals of the Best Crew Tournament and then lost to the Apple Family, but then won the rights to challenge the Apple Family one more time. Yeah, I haven't actually seen Volume 5 or 6 yet. I've been meaning to. I just never got around to it. I barely remember what happened to Volume 4. But so these are all Volume 1 slash 2. Team Ruby, whatever. So who else is gonna come down to this beautiful ring? Why, it's none other- OH NO! Oh, I forgot what I- well, first of all, Granny Smith is holding a baseball oh. bat. He's got a fucking baseball bat, okay. By the way, I- I replaced- I forgot, I replaced the Apple Family music with Ram Ranch. <laughs> They're all wearing cowboy hats. <laughs> oh no, okay. this is not a family appropriate stream anymore. Yeah, oh. they're, gonna, they're gonna get demonetized. It was a family appropriate stream. Alright. Y'all be best prepared to kiss goodbye those titles. that coming home with us. Oh. 
Oh, wait, <laughs> shoot, I forgot. We were supposed to voice it. Shit, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, don't worry, I'm sure they kiss each other goodbye a plenty. What was that supposed to mean? N nothing! I'm saying the Apple family is all about the family if you catch my drift. Yup! Yeah. Oh, that's Granny Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all yeah, be catching the fish of fury in a moment! I'll tear y'all each a new asshole and show an apple out each one of them. Every time you shit from now on, y'all will only be able to think our asses belong to the apple family. Y'all here. May, may, may the best team win. Yeah, yeah, us. <laughs> I can't wait to shut that mouth of yours, gang. And you shove an apple inside it. Sorry, I got too excited. <laughs> gotcha. no, I couldn't tell who was saying that. It's not very intuitive. Well, th this kind of glitched out a little bit, but it's fine. Whatever. Still... Okay, this is you, Spoon, still. Yeah, I'm gonna look like one of those stuffed turkeys when we're through with you. Uh, gra granny, I, I don't know if I don't I don't know if that's... you shut your yep and little one. Are, are you done talking? Yeah, we've got a match to fight. Yep. So uh. What a segment. Uh, yeah. Some oh shoot the, the 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 chat can only see something's happening in the ring. Hold on. Oh god. Dude, something's happening in the ring. <laughs> We saw it with our own eyes. By the way, that match got a rating of 44. The match that hasn't happened yet. Okay. <laughs> Could Anyways, suck. Time for the actual best really title match. match. <laughs> Quite below average. Forest, suicide Forest monetized, voice acting demonetized. All right, it's time for the best crew title to be on the line for the final time between these two teams. One of these teams will dissolve. One of these teams will go on to be the champions. Who will it be? Will it be Team Ruby or will it be the Apple Farmily? That's what they're called. This is the semi-main event of the night. After this, we only have the Harry the Bear match. And then we are done for the night. So this match is going to be a whopper of a, of a, of a whippy, 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 whappy fight. Ooh, quick tagging. Quick tag, Team Ruby is on, like, both of these teams have crazy teamwork, although the Apple family is a little bit more stubborn to actually get those quick tags. They think they can do it on their own. Team Ruby's been through hell and back. They know so how to tag name each other. This girl's niece, right? Yeah, this is Weiss Schnee, the, the Ice Queen. That's the what? Ned Schneebly from School of Rock. Her character is, she's a bitch, but she's actually nice. She's mostly a bitch, but she's actually nice. That's a, that's a personality right there. But she is a bitch. Bill Cipher versus Starlight Glimmer. That sounds like a very one-sided match. Oh, Weiss! Speedy Demon! The agility sweeping through, uh, sweeping under the legs. Yeah, again, the story of this match, power versus speed, although Apple Bloom might be the wild card for the Apple family that they needed. They took out Brayburn. He, uh, basically took the night off tonight. That was, Weiss is a tsundere, right? That's the term for it, right? Gotcha. Yeah, unfortunately, Brayburn was caught smoking weed, so he can't be here with us, because he violated Weiss the wellness was, policy. He, Rayburn really was caught in the showers of Ram Ranch, smoking, smoking all that pot. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Weiss running away, tagging in Blake. Here comes Blake Belladonna coming in. A lot of, she's more of a, a sneaky type. A lot of sneaky pins. She can end the match at a moment's notice. Uh-oh. Punch, chop, yeah, it's all just... in the mind. Just oh. as much punching as there is staring in that strike off. Yeah, she's a, more of a she's basically a ninja of sorts. Uh oh. Oh. Ooh. Elbow. Ooh. Kill him. Uh oh. Tagging in Yang. A lot of the... quick tags. They don't have. They they want to keep a fresh person in this entire time, and Yang I can respect that. Currently That's a respected as the number one striker in all of DWF. Although Review Bra might be taking her up on that challenge, so who knows? But uh. In the oh. Apple Bloom blocking the strike with her Apple family resiliency, but Yang is not happy a about big that. Block too. Will we see Yang go Super Saiyan tonight? Oh, Boston Crab! But she's not from Boston! But she picked it up when she went there temporarily! Yeah. Ooh, Fireman's carry from Yang. Not really something we're used to seeing from here. She's more of a striker uh -oh, than punch. a. Oh god, that was a huge punch. Center yeah, Yang, Yang is the first ever best waifu. Like, there are a lot of champions on these teams, especially, like, Team Ruby's got Yang, and th both of these teams are champions as, like, collectives to begin with. You know, they already have yeah. that going for them, but then, uh, actually, I don't, I think Applejack 
won some tag team titles and Big Mac did too, I think. I don't remember the details, but the point is they were champions at one point. Yeah, they did. They did. And they I mean, also... Um, did too I'm pretty point. sure Applejack was best horse at one point, wasn't she? Uh, no, she was yeah. not, although oh, she was I always very no. close to it. It was Pinkie Pie. I oh, uh, yeah. Okay, never mind. You're right. Pinkie Pie, Rainbow Dash. Uh, then Harry just held it for... Harry... For literally the entirety of the last the way, three seasons. Harry has won singles title matches seven times in a row. <laughs> By the way, he is on a seven win streak. Which is well, I mean, the... far and away the biggest win streak that DWF has ever seen and will ever seen. Well, you know, Perhaps. the very first person that's actually able to bring down Harry the Bear is going to go down as a legend. Dude, for real though, like, holy shit, the push. Like, oh, 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 oh frames are dropping. Okay. Oh. Welcome Oof. back to the stream. We dropped some frames there. Uh... I agree. Granny Smith really is a serious rap passer, oh. though. though. Unfortunately, she's having a hard time kind of keeping up with... Uh, Team Ruby, at least physically, because they're just kind of running circles around her, hey, her old bones. This is the Harry Wrestling Federation, as the map will constantly remind us throughout this entire show. Like, I think Fluttershy completed her heel turn with that. I don't know, maybe not. I don't know, maybe people like the new map. I suppose so. Man, this I mat is, so. like, just filled with blood and STDs. <laughs> We got, we got a little bit of blood, we got a little bit of some something. <laughs> we got a little bit of <laughs> Project X. Dude, Review Bra would actually probably put up a good fight against Harry the Bear. No joke. Like, he'd probably do pretty Maybe. okay. Because, like, like, Harry struggles against straights, you know? It's... <laughs> Dude, Applejack doesn't give a fuck! <laughs> she was yeah, like, you tagging out? I don't think so. Yeah, she goes to town. Weiss with those... Br She's very elegant. Weiss is very focused on, like, elegance and... Well, oh, okay, maybe that what wasn't was that elegant. That was more of a leg. Yeah, what photo. the fuck was that? Why? She also you has a lot of problems. But, you know, we don't talk about those. Alright, that's sexual harassment. So probably... Uh-oh. So, how is this match, like... Who seems to have be taking the upper hand in this match so far? It seems pretty it's neck and neck so far. Yeah, it, I would agree. It seems very neck and neck. They're both getting a very healthy amount of tags oh! in. I'd say Team Ruby is kind of keeping doing a better job of keeping the fresher person in. I mean, these two but teams the are same, very evenly matched, you know? At the same time, though, there's... It seems like any time that Team Ruby starts to oh, get an oh, upper hand, oh. the Apple family just kind of tanks it's their the blows. It's the first hog tie of hit. the match. Yang kicks out of that hog tie, but that hog tie, oh, that does some huge damage over time. The Apple family love, love, love their hog ties. <laughs> I'd say that for Team Ruby, right now, Yang is kind of their secret weapon. Because uh -oh. she's the only oh, one that can oh, have no. damage output oh, substantial she, enough to really She goaded Granny Smith dead. into a strike-off. Oh my god, this could be the end of Granny Smith's career. Oh, Maybe, oh. Yeah. I don't really see oh, Granny Smith winning oh, the strike-off. Oh, uh, yeah, Granny Smith didn't. got lucky. Like, For she standing was... up that long, <laughs> she's, she's definitely a fighter. <laughs> Dark Skies makes a good point. It's been 11 minutes and only one hogtie. Beautiful powerbomb neckbreaker combination. Beautiful teamwork from Team Ruby. <gasps> Up to the top rope. Stop oh, the God, little that's girl. A Ugh. Into a senton. Okay, yeah, she's going to need to look for yeah, a tag dude. right now, which she does. Yeah, Ruby, Weiss, and Blake are the swords, and Yang is the nuke. Well, we got a big boy in. Oh, my God. Just so we'll <laughs> see. We'll just see how Team Ruby copes oh. with Big Macintosh, just which is man easier handling said a little, than done. Manhandling this little girl. Absolutely. Remember, That's at this point in time, McIntyre. she's like, with this attire, she's like maybe 16. Understood. Ruby's very young. Ooh, the big The others, me. I think, are uh, roughly adults at this time, but Ruby's really young. Yang coming in. Oh, oh. no. Yeah. Oh, no. Taking out the... her good arm. Yeah. This oh. is what Big Macintosh does. The thing is, Apple Family is very good about targeting the arm whenever they're Ooh, not just giving her some strikes of its own with the oh, yeah. media arms. Big Macintosh big is Macintosh. definitely the big force for the Apple Family. He is a beast. Tag keeping those tags fresh, though, that is their secret we weapon. Oh, oh no. Oh, He's getting God. crowded. He couldn't cope. There was no yeah, way uh Oh, this is going to be absolute chaos. This is a brawl. Oh, my God. Yeah, this brawl. is looking like a mosh pit right now. Wait, Big no. Macintosh holding is this going to be a ring out? No, once. this is going to be a count out. <laughs> this better not be a count out. Holy crap. 
I swear to God, if this is a oh my god, I will murder a child. Oh, it's looking it's looking pretty sus right now. I mean, if, if this is a count out, no matter who gets count out, Team Ruby is okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, they played it fair. They played it safe. Oh, Tension there are two hog ties going on in the ring right now. Oh my now. god, there's so many hog ties. Apple oh, bone my, a hog I don't tie. know how Weiss is still in this. She got she was oh. getting triple teamed by the just, Apple family while Big Magatosh oh was fighting up the other three. This is just not okay at all. Tagging an Applejack, Weiss is devastated. No! Oh! Oh, no. oh man. Oh, that was looking disgusting. Like a Boy Scout. That was absolutely disgusting. Oh, God. Yeah, there, Weiss Team was Ruby in the middle of... Re find something right now. Weiss was in the middle of reversing Big Macintosh, but that let her be still long enough for Applejack to do a spinning lariat, just launching into her hogtie. Weiss is in horrible pain. She might tap out right here, right now. Oh Absolutely. my goodness. Weiss needs to find her way to a tag team partner right now. Oh, oh my god, Weiss barely but she's avoiding struggling. the lariat. She's oh. struggling because they keep oh. getting her cornered. Oh. She's Tagging able to Blake. find a, a partner. Blake, What's her name? Blake is constantly tossing people out of the ring, which might be a good strategy because it allows everyone to... She might just be going for a count out here. I don't know. Maybe. This is very... I think Look at this at point... Brawl. If this ends I think in a tie, I will... Oh, I'm going to be very upset. I think at this point, Blake's just trying to add more variables because, frankly, things are not looking good right now. She might as well. Uh-oh, Blake chopping away. Oh, barely getting into the ring in time. Applejack getting into the ring. It's absolute chaos in this ring. These two teams are letting loose against you. Luna's down! Luna, Luna got downed in the chaos! Is she bleeding? I can't tell. Maybe. Oh my god, this wide angle. Uh oh, wrong corner, but god, those hog ties can be disgusting. Like, they yeah. can deal so much damage. Oh god, we're having time. another one of these. Oh, oh, yeah. oh man! Wait, Massive Blake, damage. Blake zipping around on Applejack. Oh, 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 going for a quick pin! This could be a pin. One. Wrong corner. Two. Oh my god. This could be Oh, it. holy crap. Oh, tr double super kick from the Apple family. Oh my god, it's absolute chaos in this ring. Applejack. Applejack with the. Oh, a giant. It was almost oh, like a... Oh, Blake! Oh my god, Ga Applejack tried to tag in, but Blake caught her, but Applejack turned the tide against her. Granny Smith is now in the ring, ready to rough house Blake it up. Just, perhaps Blake just got oh, baited. Oh, pump handle! Could be That's her finishing maneuver! <laughs> oh my same. god! Granny Smith got it! Granny Smith winning the day! The Apple family, Ram Ranch playing in the background! The Apple family! 18 naked cowboys! <laughs> 18 oh, naked man. cowboys in the ran showers ran at Sweet Apple Lakers! Big, big heart, heart. anyways! Team oh, Ruby got my... way too... got way God. too desperate towards the end. Yeah. After Team seeing Weiss get destroyed, they started to guys, overextend themselves. Guys, Team Ruby is no more. Team Ruby is finished. Everyone, give a hand to Yang Zhao Long. Dude, Team Ruby is now having to be separated. They can still compete in two-on-two -two tag matches, but as a no four-person unit. But however, this does mean that next week we can probably see Yang versus Review Bra to see who's the best striker at DWF. Oh, get man. For that. That, that's going to be a match of the century. Apple Family is now the best crew champions of the world. Um, Once more. Damn, dude. That's rough. Hate, hate, hate to hate to break it to you. I'm gonna break you into you. Uh, oh my God, <laughs> Frog, you can see what's coming, right? <laughs> Prepare your best statement now, <laughs> because <laughs> okay, first, Something. first of yeah. all, chat. This is the main event. This is for the best horse title. This is for the world heavyweight championship, also known as the best horse title. Who do you think will win? Will it be Harry, the, Harry bear? the Bear? So, by the way, Harry the Bear has Fluttershy out his side, but Natsuki will very likely, because none of the Literature Club competed tonight, so Natsuki will very likely have the Literature Club by her side, although Monica might be on rough terms with her. So just keep that on mind, in mind, because Natsuki tossed Monica out to win the Battle Royal, so... Will she clobber him over the head with a sledgehammer? Find out. Because something is happening in the ring. What? <laughs> okay, we, we're going to have to come up with a new... <laughs> Maybe I should just have a different phrase for whenever that happens in the future. What? Something's oh. happening? 
in the ring? That never happens in DWF. That is actually unheard of. Hold the fucking phone. No. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was horrible. <laughs> that, was, that was like a maniacal cackle. All right, sure. guys. Well, okay. Got any bits betting his life savings on Harry the Bear. Oh, my God. I guess God. you can't go I wrong mean... with that. It's not a bad Same. bet to make. What is happening in the ring? Not a lot of faith for Bob Coming Matsuki. down to the ring, it's Fluttershy. I guess that's to be expected. <laughs> Fluttershy coming down to the ring. Uh, remember, guys, make sure that the live symbol is a nice red circle. That means you are live. If you're not, click on the live circle and you will be live. Although you might miss out on this, whatever this is going to be. What? Yeah. This is ominous music. Why, it's Monica. <gasps> coming out Dude. to the support. It's, it's I, I only like Monica coming out. It's it's just Monica coming out. Okay, that was bad. I'm thinking of something that's that happening bad. in the ring. Uh, so who's going to be Flutter? Uh, I was Flutter the last time, so I guess. Uh, who wants to be Monica? I guess I'll do it. <laughs> I'm glad you came out here face to face to see your club member get desecrated. Desecrated? Do I really need to explain? Rainbow Dash, Pinkie Pie, Wii Fit Trainer, Spike Rarity, even Celestia, even Luna. Where are your guards now? Although I guess you never really respected them to begin with. But surely, seven dominant victories back to back to back is more than enough to, to persuade any reasonable to person. Of course, you aren't very reasonable either. What is the literature club, really, when you get down to it? Talk, 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 talk. It feels like every week, every time I look, another member of the literature club is trying to get to the top. But every time they wiggle their way to the main event, they choke and they fall. Compare and contrast. I am in talks right now about getting the title renamed to the best fair title. That's how dominant Harry really is. That's how defining his present is. Without Harry the Bear, DWF would be nothing. The fall of an empire can come when you least expect it, Fluttershy. The end of your era is approaching. And Harry's reign will turn to dust. Blah, blah, blah. Something's the happening. The strongest words. So, ladies and gentlemen, the bets have been placed. Also, don't pay any attention to what Spoot or Froge say for the next ten seconds. Wow, this is going to be a hype battle. Okay, hold on. Maybe listen to that part. Maybe, maybe that that part's okay. Dude, it's... I can't believe this battle goes on for forty-seven in-game minutes. Okay, I actually hope it doesn't, because I do have some place to be. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I got shit to do. Come on, DWF. Dude, Samwise, Harry does not actually have good stats. I don't know how he keeps destroying people. <laughs> he has actually kind of like, kind of shit stats. I don't Dude, know it gets he... exposed that he's hacking the fucking game. Basically. It's like an inverted Doki Doki Literature Club. Oh my right God, now, I'd up. like to point to one celebrity guest in the crowd right now. Guys, it? check the front row. It's the heavy weapons guy. <laughs> Wait, is it actually? <laughs> Enjoying the main event. <laughs> you, you had me going! You had me going there! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, escorting Buff Natsuki out to the ring. It is the entirety of the Literature Club. Welcome to the main event of the night, 19th Decade Pig. You are here for Do the final match. you even have, like, a game. regular Natsuki? No, it's literally just Buff Natsuki. <laughs> That's all there is in all of our world. True. And down to the ring, Fluttershy, belt around his waist. He's a champion. For sure. It plays Fluttershy's music for some reason. God, that's... Where is Harry the Bear's rock music? I guess Fluttershy is just taking over that much. Like, her I music takes precedence so. now. Which is that important now, in her own eyes. So the fans are fully thinking Harry the Bear is going to win this one, but who 
are you going to root for in this match, though? I don't even know. It seems like the favorite right now is Harry the Bear for well, obvious reasons. Though Buff Natsuki could maybe pull something up. She's definitely just Harry, as big as Harry. Harry the Bear has usually dominated against, like, strength-based performers, but... Natsuki has the power of friendship, a.k.a. the power of three cheating bastards at ringside who are willing to distract the referee like every other second. So, That's right. In fairness, I mean, she still has to pin Harry the Bear at least once. Yeah, to be and fair, that's... Luna, the referee of this match, hit Harry the Bear with like two dozen moonsaults. This salts, is the third Irish enough. whip in a row that Natsuki has given and done absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't know what to do. She's awed by his presence. Oh, and she gets a spine buster for her troubles, of course. Oh, punch. Oh my god, Harry the Bear just dominating her. This is already ugly. Is this gonna yeah. be an anti climb hit? Oh, is she gonna oh. do something? Yep, no, she's not. Of course she isn't. Well, he didn't even bounce off the ropes. Oh, clawing at his eyes! Oh, okay, oh, punches! For the oh, gym. man. Going for the dirty tactics strategy. that might win her the match. Oh, punches! Oh my god. Oh, oh. close light! Yo, yo, Natsuki's going nuts! Natsuki's going crazy! Man, how can you even deal with a wild animal in the ring? Oh, bear hug oh, already! Bear hug, bear hug this, early? this early! Oh my god! Natsuki's already- Oh, he ducked oh, it! Oh wow, ducked under. Oh! <laughs> Jesus, yeah. Harry the Bear has yeah. already got this match in the bag. There's- Oh! Hey, oh. Natsuki's putting in some hits. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Natsuki, Natsuki is scrapping and crawling for her life. God, Harry the Bear! I it it looks like he's breaking the Geneva Convention. <laughs> for Jesus. real? He's oh he's so slow. He, he Natsuki just gets up. Oh she's yeah. she's already oh, okay. tired. Yeah. Oh, I mean, oh. how could you not? Oh Harry oh. the Bear. God, this is this is oh, this is a massacre. I don't know what the yakuza in here to take care of Harry the Bear once and for all. This is a war crime. At least at this point, Harry the Bear is looking a little oh, bit tired too. God, yeah, Harry the Bear matches are so short that look how slow he's running. <laughs> oh my God, God. <laughs> Jesus, he's fucking her up, dude. <laughs> oh, Natsuki. Oh, fighting back. Oh, she's catching her. Oh, no, Natsuki, you gotta react. Oh, dude. You gotta she's react, already Natsuki. fucking blown her load. Oh, my God. T-Rex to take on Har Harry. You know, anybody, really. Uh, Bill Ricky Cipher. Eyes did nothing. Oh, Jesus. She doesn't know what to do. He's just too big. He she can't wrap her arms around Harry the Bear. He's just too big. Oh, my. Samoan drop. Jeez. Incorporating a new move into his moveset just to... Just to add insult to- She's too tired to run! Oh no, she can't oh, have less God. stamina than Harry. Harry the bear is the villain of season 9. Oh, boot! Oh, Natsuki is exhausted. Claw to the face, clawing for She's everything she can. She's doing whatever she can right now. Oh, punch. It's a hand. strike. Dude, this might be the turning point for Natsuki. She has to make- Oh! Blocking him down. She can catch her breath. She's catching her breath. Oh, he, oh, oh, he cleans her clock. Is this a bear hug? Nope. Oh, she's got control. She's bringing it over to her corner so her friends, her friends can distract more easily. Perhaps. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, oh punch. Oh, sucker uh, punch. Oh, my God. Natsuki's coming back. Punch. Another oh, one. She's got a strategy. Yo, Natsuki could win this clean. Yo. Oh, good oh, God. Oh, the comeback of a century. Yo. Yo, yo, let's go. Oh, my God. She's we're, she's going we're seeing, full force. We're definitely seeing a second win come she's out of Natsuki. unleashed her inner little rage. Yo, let's oh, go. Oh, God. Dude, a bear yeah. hope could end this match at any point, but Natsuki's going for it. Harry really wants to move oh. away from this corner if he can Yo. help it. Ooh, jeez. Oh. Showing big off her buffness. Suplex. Oh my god. They're both already exhausted. Big buff. Oh. oh my god. Nobody really knows. Like, people in chat are divided on who to root for. Sayori distracting oh, the referee no. oh, from the pit. Move. Oh my god, Sayori. That's three. Yeah, yeah oh, that would have been god. it. Sayori might have just saved Natsuki the match. Luna, just turn around! 
Luna is really distracted. <laughs> oh, the bear Pounder. dropping his full weight onto Natsuki. Big bear weight. Natsuki's dazed. Natsuki's up, but gets she's... Up. Oh, Natsuki was home. so energetic to get back up that she got back up even though it made her dazed to get back up that quickly. But she's in control. She's in control of Harry the Bear this late into the match. She could win. She could win. She can't Maybe. win. Buff Natsuki could become the one to overthrow Harry the Bear. It's not going to happen. Oh, oh my god, the lift. Lift and throw. Lift and throw. Harry the Bear's up. They're both up. Oh, headbutt. Yo, the I, size yo. difference is just not significant enough for Harry the Bear to get an edge. Holy shit, Natsuki is not, going crazy. I don't crazy. think Harry the Bear has dealt with somebody up to this point that can actually lift him. Dude, Natsuki's got him under control. Are we going to witness history on the premiere of Season 3, or is he going to bear hug her right now? No! <gasps> this is no bully bomb! One! Oh, man. Yo! Two! This is no bully bomb, let's go! No bully bomb. Oh, it's a little Straight to Harry the, the Bear. She, she drags damage. him away from the ropes. This oh the cocky pin staring Fluttershy in the eyes. Two point nine. Not gonna happen. That is not gonna really happen. Close. Headbutts, headbutts, headbutts. Oh, oh, he's the character bust ropes. himself open from those headbutts. He's on the ropes. He's desperate. Bear hug. All oh, the literature clubs an... going oh, to a rescue. No. Man, the literature, literature club is maker. cheating. They are cheating. They're cheating super hard. This is the only way for them to defeat Harry the Bear. This is the only way for the Literature Club to uh, finally win a title. This is the first title the Literature Club might be able to win. They're fighting for their lives. Yuri's just kind of hanging out, though. She's too scared. Oh, <laughs> my God. A power bomb. Oh, my power God. Bomb. She really oh has to get her God. money's worth out of this. Two. No bully bombs. She's running that on fumes right now, but so is Harry move. the Bear. This, this oh, could be. she's staring Fluttershy dead in the eyes. This is no longer the Harry rest. 2.9. Harry the Bear kicks Another out. Another one. You Harry. can't keep Harry down. Harry the Bear is Harry worst the for wear. Bear. Yeah. Harry the... Oh, Sayori. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, Luna, you had to have seen that. Come on, Luna. Well, they do not want a count out because then Harry the Bear will keep his title if there's a count out. So even though it's a draw. Oh, yeah. Oof. Well, no. Even if even if Harry the Bear gets counted out, he still keeps his title. Wrestling right. rules and all. Actually, I don't remember what the rule is for whatever. Doesn't matter. That's so, normally the rule. Oh my God! Is she gonna go for a third? No, no punch. Oh, 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 oh man! Dodges oh, out of oh man! Oh, oh, oh man! Okay, it's not gonna happen. happen. Oh, oh, oh. This is a bit of a stalemate going on here. Headbutts, 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 headbutts. Yuri has not actually done anything yet. She's very quietly staying on the sidelines. Oh, Harry the Bear. Oh, missing clotheslines. Oh, they're, they're going all oh. in on these punches. Oh, 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 oh no, no, Uh-oh. No, they're, Luna. Still, inter they're Luna. still interfering. Oh, my God. That was... Referee Luna needs to get this match under control. Dude, Luna this is gets... why Doge so, has the job, you know? The thing. Luna gets up quicker from falls than Doge does, but she's a lot more easily distracted than Doge is. Like, this Apparently. match might have ended with a Harry the Bear victory right then and there if Doge was the one, one referee. But he's a little bit too, uh... <laughs> Anyways. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, oh man. Oklahoma Okay, slam. I just saw two of the Lucha Club members back up a little bit after that. <laughs> Headbutts. <laughs> for Harry good the reason. Bear. They're probably having some second guesses about oh, interfering in this match oh, now. Yeah, bomb. for real. She's going for no bully bomb combination number three. That's abomination Good. to you. Middle of the ring. <laughs> One. Holy That's shit! That's it. Are you? <laughs> yeah. I... Well, now I've lost all of my dorks on all of my I accounts. I coughed up so much indigestion on that. Oh my god, Natsuki's not done with him. Natsuki is celebrating by beating up some more. Holy hell. That's dirty. That's dirty. The Ledger Club picking up their first title win. I really wish. Ever. That I hadn't choked, like, on something in my throat. Because this is, an, this is the biggest moment in DWF history. The Literature Club, after spending everything since, like, the second or third episode, trying to build their way to winning any title at all, they finally, they finally win by putting away Harry the Bear. His win streak is over. His domination over DWF. <clears throat> is God I'm sure this isn't the last Fluttershy oh. has to I'm sure this isn't the last that they're just going to end this off on 
Holy oh yeah, there's going to be some opinions geez. about this outcome. Absolutely, with the way that things oh. went, that this oh. was not a clean outcome. Yeah, at, Harry the, the Bear very least. might get that unfortunate uh, rematch. Possibly, hope not, but he might be we'll a little see. bit too tired from being champion for. He he's been champion since pretty much the start. Like it's like literally Natsuki's literally the fourth champion to hold the most prestigious <laughs> title in DWF. Harry the Bear won seven times in a row. He won seven times in a row. That's absurd. This was an amazing run from Harry the Bear. Natsuki, I mean, the only reason Harry the Bear lost. I mean, Natsuki put up a fantastic bout the whole way through, even when she was fighting she clean. She lost it at two different points of the match. Two, maybe even three. Like Maybe even three. Like, that was a hell of a bout. All, everyone lost all of their dorks from that bout. I think That's Natsuki, how it has to be. I, I, I think even though the Literature Club might have been the de facto faces of that matchup, they are definitely not the faces going forward, not to this chat room. Oh, oh, no. I believe it. So let's recap what the heck just went down tonight. First, we saw the debut, and if any of you don't want to be spoiled, when you go back to look at the archive, you might want to leave the stream now. Goodbye. But just a quick recap of what happened this stream. We saw the debut of Team Scooter Tricks as they lost to the Marshmallows. But they put up a dang good fight. But the Marshmallows really proved themselves to be much better than people anticipated. Team. Like, their chemistry is fantastic. Followed by, by Limestone Pie attempting to murder our referee. And then... To limit it to success. More non-ponies have held the... No, 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 no. Yeah, the same number of non-ponies have held the t best horse title as actual ponies. That's unfortunate. <clears throat> Uh, so yeah, uh, then best ship title, uh, looks like Team Angel Wings is going on to face the Communist Connection. Oh boy. Followed yep. by Tracer, gonna be the one to face off against Marble Pie. That's gonna be an interesting matchup. Uh, four-way elimination, Review Bra putting up an amazing, uh, striking performance, even though he got in dead last. But right. he is very likely gonna face off against Yang to see who is the best striker in DWF, probably in the curtain jerker of the night. Probably going to open the show with that exciting, striking bout between the two. Uh, but Shrek eventually won. It's going to be a big, beefy match between him and Bulk Biceps for the best husbando title. Best waifu title. We got some... We got, Dude, all three titles changed tonight. All absolutely. three titles changed. We Fit we, Trainer today is our new is best waifu. absolutely a night of champions. <laughs> the Apple family. Unfortunately... Is the goddamn, ugh. they they <laughs> are always in control of whatever team, like foundation there is. Like they're always. How could they the not? <laughs> they dominate, man. They they've got it. Uh, even when they've got like Granny Smith and Apple Bloom in there instead of Brayburn, you know, they they've got it on lockdown. You know, uh, followed by Natsuki. I would say beating the odds, but she had the entire literature club at ringside cheating the hell out of that match. But then again, let's remember, Luna had three people cheating the hell out of her for her match. She went 30 in-game minutes with Harry and still lost. So, Natsuki still had an insanely impressive performance there. Absolutely, uh, nothing against her at all. It was mainly just the fact that it didn't come out a very clean victory by any means. Mm-hmm. So yeah, uh, any final words from you two guys? I think it's interesting um, because obviously, you know, Harry the Bear losing his title is a big deal and it's it's big to go to Natsuki, but uh, given how like impervious he was, this kind of, at least temporarily, opens up the door for anyone who can take down Natsuki to become the best horse. Yeah, if they... Which is, you know, not a dynamic that we've seen. It's, so far it's been can they beat Harry the Bear? But now it's just, can they beat Natsuki? Which is way more in the Harry realm the of Bear possibility. Harry the Bear was the final boss Absolutely. of DWF, we've, pretty much. So We've seen Natsuki lose matches before. She's definitely... She definitely has an air of beatability to her that yeah. Harry the Bear just hasn't had. I, mean, I would not be surprised to see the title changing hands a few times before it inevitably lands back on Harry the Bear. How is Fluttershy going to react to spending her hard-earned dorks to buy a ring mat that featured Harry Wrestling Federation, only to have Harry lose, lose the world title on the same <laughs> show. Oof. It's Oof. Ubris. That's what it is. The, the bitter Ubris. irony. 
Never go full heal, kids. Never go full heal. Uh, what about you, Frog? Spood has said his his piece. Unless he hasn't yet, I don't actually know. No, I'm good. <laughs> that was it. No, uh, I was just going to expand on that. I definitely do think that this is not over, to say the very least, between Harry the Bear uh, and the Literature Club. At least with the way things were built up, I think at the very least, Fluttershy is going to demand a clean, a cleaner outcome. Do yeah, Fluttershy versus Monica. That's the match that's got to happen, isn't it? Perhaps. Sort of the managers of the two. Maybe a steel cage match to make sure people can't interfere. You know, maybe a no mm -hmm. disqualification. Well, maybe no disqualification we could get out of hand. A lot of a lot of things. Yeah, maybe a, a landmine death match. Also, frames are dropping like crazy, which is fine because it's literally a slideshow that I'm presenting to the chat at this time. Uh, <laughs> Doge, with the strongest performance nobody expected from him. Limestone is actually not that bad of a fighter. So Doge taking her down with his technical mat wrestling ability. Shocking, to say the least. Uh, Quite impressive. Limestone definitely underestimated him. Team Angel Wings, ridiculous resilience. Uh, who did Tracer face? Tracer uh, faced off against Babseed. Yeah, MMA match, yeah. Babseed, uh, decent performance, but Tracer definitely came out on top there. Uh, who are the other two in this matchup? Oh yeah, Gabe the Gabe Blue Man Degrossi, becoming the new fan favorite out of nowhere. Sands showing off his insane bad time finisher, having to pull it off three times in that match and still not quite being able to put away Shrek. Shrek might be a hell of an opponent for Hulk Biceps. Yeah, Wii Fit Trainer wild card is crazy. So yeah, this was an incredible night. Thank you all for watching. This has been Doodled. That has been Froge and Spood. Have a good night, everyone. That was Froge. Make sure to give the heavy your credit card. That was Spood. Absolutely. Thank you all very much. I'm going to stop the stream now. So you all have a great night. We will probably come back at some time in the near future because this was fun as hell, and we are gonna we have some stuff set up for next time. Let's have have a good have a good life.